you in a dumpster once yeah i got out i got out <laughs> How is everybody? i need to move I, I tried something different with the little layout i put that i was like oh well, let's just have something behind we'll be in the audience we'll have something there but i'm gonna i'm gonna adjust this just a little i think i did get a haircut now you can see more of my forehead <laughs> <laughs> You looked in the mirror and you're like, man, <laughs> I don't appear bald enough right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Did I tell you um, the tattoo I saw my buddy who got a tattoo of me as a werewolf and I looked at it and I was like, why do I still have a receding hairline? <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm a werewolf. Why couldn't he give me more hair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a werewolf. He's supposed to be covered in, in hair. Yeah, well, I have you seen like, my Wolf? tattoo of him is very similar. Like he's got a very bad receding hairline. I don't know if you can even see this on the yeah. screen, but I'm like, he's supposed to be a werewolf too, and he looks more vampire-like. Yeah, uh, but he also has. To, I'm like, you, you fucked both of us. Give, you us know, give us our hair back. <laughs> you know what's cool is that one day you could do like a cover-up job and just get like a, a huge dick in his mouth. Uh. <laughs> yeah, when he wrongs me <laughs> or writes you <laughs> true true <laughs> dude if he really writes me dude you're sucking that huge dick <laughs> dude it's a big dick you're sucking the whole thing <laughs> it's pretty cool yeah yeah <laughs> i mean you can't tell because most of it's in your throat but <laughs> <laughs> you're like at the balls right to the base that's impressive you should be happy I did this. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, you should be honored. This is what I think you're capable of. What's up, guys? <laughs> what up? How is everybody? Um, uh, sorry, that was too funny for me. Watching um, the Jimmy Seville doc right now. Cra uh, that looks insane. I don't know who that is. That's that British guy who was like, like a national treasure that like raped a bunch of kids, right? You know what? I heard about this through my favorite murder, um, but she got the name wrong <laughs> and accidentally like named the guy as um, the singer of Bronski Beat. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to do a retraction like <laughs> on the episode I got the guy yeah. that raped all those kids was not the singer of Bronski V it's like if like next week we found out that Mr. Rogers was molesting kids the whole time was it really like that level? dang I, th I think he was a huge a huge uh, a, a national icon kind of thing well Anyway, Schwingle says, hey, Sam, fuck you. Oh, nope. Sorry, I read this wrong. Hey, Sam, sorry for getting a little spicy last week. Love the show and the community. Got to learn to check myself sometimes, even though there's definitely some shenanigans. What? Uh, oh. We're all good. Oh. We're all good. I don't think you right. were spicy. I mean, no, I think right, this is... Good. We're you're not good. that spicy of a show. I mean, we were talking about... <laughs> 
forget what we were just talking about for like since the start we'll start now <laughs> yeah hey welcome to trailer boys everyone. welcome to trailer How boys you? uh if you saw self suck yesterday and you're like hey where the fuck's timmy uh timmy has plans but he said he's going to be on the perfect. second hour <laughs> he was like i gotta go to my parents for my birthday and it was like is that your timmy voice a little it was my half-ass timmy voice it was uh, like my michael douglas from last night voice <laughs> of timmy you you're michael douglas when you started out i was like perfect it was yeah good. and and then yeah. i like bailed on it and everyone was like what yeah. the fuck <laughs> you had like, it though I, I don't know what's your timmy what's your timmy now right what's your timmy voice now like though is it like way up here oh hey hey <laughs> Hey, uh, I forgot about my forgot about my parents. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, he gets off easy because because uh, it's, it's his birthday. birthday. Uh, uh, yeah, he gets off easy. Um, hey. He's probably spent all day getting off easy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, ahoy, ahoy. Um. Yeah, getting off with his parents. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Timmy. Uh, they're um, dedicating brick at JC Penner's in Watertown to Timmy. Uh, guys, let's, get, let's chat... get him elected mayor of Watertown. <laughs> Sam, Sam and Timmy and I are on this text thread where Sam and I are just like, you should do this. And I, I still do think he's like, no, you really do have too. a mayor. It's more of a figurehead thing. They don't have any power. We have a city manager. And I'm like, you can do that. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, uh, so that was like a whole day of Sam and I just being like, you should do this. And we agree. <laughs> we With your get, help, we could do this. Yeah. I was like, we could get like Justin Long to endorse Timmy. And I bet there's some people in Watertown who will be like, that guy was the Mac. He wasn't the PC. He was the Mac. <laughs> Uh, somehow, uh, Beansy, are we in my sketch class right now? Are we? Wh who are you? My mom? Are you you? <laughs> are you my mom? Are you my mom? Just being like, uh, hey, this is my son. <laughs> Um, uh, did anyone in chat see Sam on the Cali Kazoo show earlier on the Shrub Network? Uh, One's Shrub in chat. Home, Shrub Home Video. One. Shrub one's Home in Video. Chat. That one's was a super for... fun show. She does an hour show. It's a tight shit. Uh, <laughs> the picture she drew of you for the post for it was so fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Uh, that was super fun, and I. I was talking to her and I was like, oh, I wanted to make a, or like a beat for one of your songs and or like remix a song in Ableton. And she was like, oh, I have Ableton. I don't know how to use it. So I was like, oh, you got to come on my Wednesday show and I'll just teach you how to do Ableton and we'll make a song on the show. That's cool. And so I really want to do that. I think that would be super fun. Um, Because what was it? Last week I made the Goose song. Did you What's hear the, the goose, goose song? The goose song? Like Goose Here. the band? No, I made a goose song. Here, I'll, I'll play it for everyone. Am I out of focus? Sorry. I think you're a little soft. Uh... Everyone's asking for Timmy. Um... Yeah, Timmy, Timmy is, he's going to be late. He, he, still he alive. does want to be here. All right, we're just we're just killing time before Timmy gets here. Are we? No. Okay, <laughs> I was like, we have a lot of shit to get through. Wait. <laughs> John Joey says, Nate, did you ever find love? No, <laughs> but.
What is the song called? I call it the Goose Song. Goose. <laughs> okay, that makes sense now. <laughs> Grimward, drink some whiskey. Honk if you're horny. Away Stork Oasis, honk if you're horny. That's a much better name. It's just a little goose song. Honk, Honk if you're horny is a great name yeah, for that. Yeah, that is a good. Yeah. Uh, Brennan, fuck you. That goose is that that song is dedicated to Goose from Top Gun. Oh, that new Top Gun looks so sick. I'm I. You know what's funny is you we we watched it last week. Coming attractions. I don't know if Chad's seen it yet, but like, I I got chills when he was like, "You want me to trust you like my dad trusted you or something like that?" And I was like. Goose's son, what? Yeah. Oh, you know, so good. Yeah, and it's just dudes flying jets around. They got all this money to fly jets around. Like, I want to see that. I want to see that. Um. P- welcome, to Trailer Boys. Welcome, to Trailer Boys. Uh, so this show we watch movie trailers. This is a show where we're all like hey let's watch a bunch of movie trailers but do we get them do we come up with them no i don't think so okay we don't come up with i forgot to put this on the screen uh (laughs) put what on the screen the the where people can submit to usually it says where people can submit to and uh well it's in the title uh so yes we get the, the trailers from you you suggest the trailers we watch and we pick from a list that you guys suggest and don't just pick any trailer whoa whoa hold on there uh pick them according to our theme our theme this week is martial arts movies so don't pick movies that aren't martial arts themed that don't have martial if we see a trailer and it's like the hand that rocks the cradle we're like hey that doesn't have any that has rebecca de mornay in it that doesn't have any martial arts in it that has uh, marital arts though <laughs> kind of close marital arts no it's martial arts is what we're doing this week very close though no we're close we're, enough no we're doing martial arts okay i need to update the chat the the stream info then what did you think it was marital arts that's what it was sent to me changed everything uh we uh we we came up with the thing on stream so there is no reason why you would get this wrong i had covid so i have an excuse for all memory stuff oh you got long covid i got long covid how do i change the title Hello. Uh, oh, okay. Guess we're not doing that. Can I do a? Can I do a drop shadow? On me? No, no. Uh, oh, here we'll just do outline. Everyone's getting COVID again. Is that happening there? You guys are chat. Everyone's getting, getting COVID, COVID again. People are getting COVID left and right. And I went to AEW the other night live, and I'm like now afraid because I get back and it was like, oh, everyone's got COVID. And I'm like, fuck. Not everyone I was with, but like there was a ton of people. AEW Wrestling Live is really cool. Submit to miseryloves.us. There, it's on the screen. You can submit now and we'll see it. Uh, If you want to entice us to see the movie trailer 
write something in the comments. Is this a new season? No, because uh, I don't have the leaderboard. Uh, you want me to read it off to you? But yes, uh, because we have someone in the leaderboard who, who's it? Is it Flanja? No. Yeah. It's Flanja yeah. is yeah. two points away from winning, right? Yeah, Flanja's like edging. <laughs> two points away from winning. And Flanja's they said, edging. you know what? I'm I'm confident I'm gonna win this bitch. I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble away my points on a challenge. And they lost the challenge. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's huge. That and, is huge. Which means they give their points from their trailer. And guess guess what trailer they picked? Was it what the trailer, trailer that uh I'm pretty sure It was trailer of the week. Yeah, their trailer was one. trailer of the motherfucking week. Yeah, uh, so uh, that was that was crazy. So if you haven't seen this before, sometimes people will submit the same movie twice. We'll get duplicates, right? And so a couple weeks ago, a couple shows ago for the Satan show, somebody submitted something, watched it, and it looked like it would be great and had a bunch of actors. We knew it had William Shatter in it. And we were like, it's okay. And somebody was like, oh, I submitted something, but it was, it was a little different trailer. We watched a second trailer for the same movie it was amazing. And we're like, okay, now we're opening challenges up. So if somebody has a trailer that they're like, the one I submitted for the same movie is better, they can challenge, but you have to risk all your points for the night on that. And so what happened was the Flanja, Flanja challenge challenged. lost. Yeah. Flanja, if to, to quote the vice principal from the breakfast club, Flanja messed with the bull and he got the horns. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> Stop the monkey shine steel. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Um, so, um, yeah, that was, that was, what was very dramatic about that was that uh, it was an amazing movie. Like the 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 trailer that we did pick from Flanja ended up winning trailer of the week, and it was so good. Uh, I liked all of it. Yeah. Did you guys clip the bit from Sister Sensei about accepting a challenge? That was a trailer last week. We did clip out uh, a part. It should be on YouTube. The Sister Sensei stuff. What was censored? Twitch was censored. Huh. Oh. Whoa. I don't know. Wait, now I can't find it. The problem is we never revealed who submitted the original trailer and you can't not do the challenge if you don't want to. Who submitted the original trailer? I don't even remember any of it. Wait, here I have Big Row 1 submitted Sister Sensei. Did I remember? Th oh, wait, no, no. Oh, that's, oh, Big Row 1 got the points. That's who... Big Row 1 submitted, yeah, yeah, the got the points. That's, that's what it was. I thought we said that. I mean, right. we don't really know how, what we're doing. Yeah. And we're uh, just making it up as we go this along. Is, and it's this is fun. not a sport. This is a game. <laughs> and we're just having and fun Sam's the game here. master. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, let's, yeah, let's, without we, we any get, further ado. Wait, a little bit more ado. Is that, can you say that? Is that how it works? With yeah, a little much, bit more ado. Yeah, much ado. Um, if you are watching now and you're like, I didn't submit, you can still submit. We still got a ton of stuff, but we'll still, you know, we still choose from shit that happens after the start of the show. We did get a lot. So, you know, if we don't push enough through, you know, we may have a sequels episode for this. Hey, know? Professor Martha just said, Sam's the gay master. Hey, I'm the queer master. <laughs> okay. There's it's a, a difference. Spectrum. It's a spectrum. Uh, Sam's on the spectrum. Yes. Uh, here, hold on. Get his ass, Sam. <laughs> Not just gay. Let us know how the, the levels are, too.
I, I love like the, <laughs> I just, uh, there's one part when it's like the kid opens his eyes and I, I really geeked out on that. This right here. Hard style. <laughs> oh. Bill, I want you to shoot the arrow as fast as you can. <laughs> it's all right. So we got an argue about this. The thing is, this is a, a compound bow. You don't pull a compound bow nice part way. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Samurai sound, of course. Forgot about that. Yeah. The, I want to know how much of these like scenes are like uh, some kind of stock footage, you know? How it's great be is a this wife actor though? The, the actress here. Honey, did you see that? Disgusting. It's so real. Yeah. There's so many relationships like this. Even I'll accept that challenge. <laughs> and she's never in the movie again. Hey, that's not nice. That's not nice. Have a nice day. Bastard. Cut, cut, cut. Let me beautiful, Good. Hey, I need some ice for my hand. How's your face? <laughs> you did it wrong. You did it wrong. Hello? Dave? 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 What? David? Did we ever figure out if she was the sister or not? Did you know what happened the last time he was in the room? And now for the I, world I world think world she's world. Sister Sensei. So, he's like, I challenged this guy, and then he immediately calls his sister, and he goes, I need you to fight this guy for me. <laughs> Is that what happens? Back off, lady. They might be the same the same person buzzing, though something wrong. What the and she has a whole other I'm job sensei, Dave. yeah I'm sister. that's sensei. definitely her like she uh, looks a little different but the voice the is the same exact voice i kind of feel like we dave? need to watch this at some point you know yeah dave because like dave it's me your sister all right man um could could they hear us could you guys hear us Uh, looks like she got a haircut between scenes. Yes. Uh, Sister Sensei doesn't advertise. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I just think it's, I never thought of that though. It's like he challenges this guy, immediately calls his sister, and then she shows up at the fight. So yeah, they don't explain why? that part of it why he can't show up at the fight. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Free to play squid says heard you loud and queer. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I feel seed. All right. <laughs> and chat's on fire tonight. Abby uh, Sally says Sister Sensei does not audition. She is offer only. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got something to admit. I did not yet again did not keep an eye out for trailers this week but it looks like there was a huge drop today this might be a fake trailer but i don't think it is are you ready me yeah yes <laughs> Before and it blew my mind. Oh wait, I did the wrong. Uh, went to the wrong channel, the wrong scene. Another one of these. 
The pre-trailer trailer. Green. This might be fake. We don't mess with our business. We don't mess with yours. This is kind of like a, a, a telltale sign of a fake trailer is that no one is actually talking in the first 10 seconds of the trailer. This is fake. I table. I'll kill them all. Yep. Clearly scenes from the last movie. Which is what exactly? Really bad sound. That was definitely fake. Can I play a trailer that I think is real? Okay. Uh, sure. Or do you have one? Oh, the audio is too low for people on that one. Uh, okay. Sorry. I, I had to, I'm trying to make the audio lower for me, but stay the same for you. Uh, you guys didn't miss anything then. Uh, are you going to play the new trailer? Yeah. It's not new, new, but it's, it's, I haven't heard it. It's like within the last couple of years. All right, cool. Are you ready? Yep. Are you ready, Sam? Yep. You may have seen this. Hey, Shringles, thanks for the sub. <laughs> Have you seen this? Does this look familiar to anybody? I've, I've seen this movie. You've seen this? Yeah. Do you know who loved this movie? No. Uh, Trevor. Oh, really? Yeah. This reminded me, like, the trailer itself, like, a, a, a favorite book of ours. It reminded me of that. Um... And I was like, what the hell is this? I never heard of this. There's an actor, he's an odd looking dude, but he's, I've seen him in some shit, he's really good. Yeah, Abby Sally, Lord of the Flies is like a book that Sam and I really liked, you know, later, after school, but um, this seems very Lord of the Flies. Yeah, this movie's rad. Alejandro Landes. Monos. Yeah, uh. <laughs> Looked fucking cool. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's about, like, Peruvian child soldiers. I forget where exactly. Argentinian child soldiers. Chilean. Huh. Uh, I forget where. Is it in Spanish? Yes. Huh. Uh, Maybe that's why I've never heard of it. Yeah, you're like that's not in English. Ugh, gross. What's English? Have we gone American. over the holiday pet hazards? Pet hazards? I just don't want any emergencies while I'm away. You'll have to excuse our lack of tree. Mom was waiting on you to pick one out. I've been waiting for you to do a couple things. I thought photos with Santa were at the town green. Don't worry. Zachary takes a ski trip this time each year. So is Zachary your boyfriend? See, our auntie might not want to get into it. Is this Christmas shoes? Oh, Zachary. I thought I had put Zachary behind me. Why did you break up with him again? Oh my gosh. 
Somebody left them at the fire station this morning. You're gonna need a bigger box. <laughs> Got nine kittens. We should find them homes. Operation Kitten Rescue. See you later. It's a date. I uh, join up. Live. I'll see you there. Rendezvous. See you later. Nine kittens. Once you claim one what of these guys, what an insane amount of rest. kittens. Can I give you one of these flyers? How is Zachary? Are you implying that there's more to this pet adoption than pet adoption? Hey. What? Hey. When we first met, here in the store, you called me a hero. I'm sure you've been called that before. So. First what is she from? You, though. Prancer and Vixen have been claimed. Uh, and Dasher and Dancer are going with Sam. Welcome to hey. the family. <laughs> Sam's retirement gift. He doubles as a billboard. He asked me to be chief. You're perfect for it. Why sign up for more drama? I hate this Good. movie. Wow. Been here before. When you'd bring up the future, he would say, why mess with a good thing? Have oh, I not told you about good. the Christmas tree test? If it checks all the boxes. If it checks all of the boxes, you found the one. What are the chances after all of these years we're back in the exact same spot? I think she doesn't want what happened before to happen again. You told me what you needed. And I froze. Why, why did they just drop a, a, What's going on? a Christmas trailer? Letting you the boy. It's the biggest mistake of my life. Why is this We're trailer separate? Three minutes long? Like, <laughs> like not only that. But wait, hold on. That that trailer came out this week, and uh, let me see. Um, this one too. I love the after trailer music, by the way. Do you? You're one of the best lead character artists in the biz. In the biz, Ellie. If you can create a pitch deck and maybe a short demo by Christmas. I got it. Oh, Sorry, decorating here. Ellie here is doing a rush pitch deck and needs a user interface engineer. Would you be interested in partnering up? With Ellie Neeser? I don't know. Is this Charlie, one of those video game company my movies? Side, <laughs> <of> my <laughs> No well, there's video game start. controllers on Instead the wall, so I assume, yeah. I gotta later. finish these levels. <laughs> you have ghosted all these men. I've got you eight goblins to, 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 to design by man. midnight. By the stroke of midnight on Christmas Eve, you will never find true love. That's baloney. I'm sure you've ghosted a lady or two. How many guys have you ghosted? I'd have to look. Maybe it is worth Is this called like the ghosts of Christmas past or something? <laughs> then there's a mirror. That's is it? Talked about his ex a lot. Exactly and the name of it. Ethan. <laughs> I hope you oh no! It's it writes itself. These three don't seem to be on the site anymore. All their little online. You got the the uh, nice the plural you, right Nets? there. It's yeah. the ghosts of Christmas <laughs> past. Yeah. I ghost you. Hey. Why are Hi. these trailers Charlie, so long? This is my brother my sister-in-law you should come with me to my family's for christmas eve i really enjoyed your company the last several days it is crazy oh. that they're releasing these trailers <laughs> my mom's done except the last guy i met him like on this do they think people are gonna be like oh finally like ghosts of christmas past name, is coming out was blinky for life hello i know we never exchanged our real names ellie is a good nine months to look do. forward to this Same woman who left you reeling a year and a half ago I think we're done. Let's just send it in and we can go enjoy our Christmas Eves. Eves? I thought you were coming with me to my mom's. I forgot to tell you, but uh, actually something came up. I've got a date. It's so clearly your vision, Ellie. Did Charlie help you at all? I actually owe a lot of the success of the deck to him. What is the latest in this ghost cursing thing? I'm sorry, but you know what it's like, my mom? You have seven hours left. You gotta finish your levels. Is that him? Him? It's Blinky for life. <laughs> He wants to meet at the Christmas tree at the market at 11.45. Ellie, you're here to see Blinky for life, right? I am. I'm Blinky for life. See, that makes a lot of sense. We just got the whole fucking movie. The whole movie. The entire movie. Oh, that's why it's in Canada. And in Canada, the, the season, their winter is when our summer is, so they have Christmas in July. Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. It's Canadian Christmas today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or as they call it, Boxing Day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Your tax dollars paid for that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Booncock Saint said. No, it's Booncock Taint. Uh, I like Booncock Taint better than the Booncocks, but they're both good. Uh, uh, all right, should we get going? Did, did we, um, I do think we should get going. And I do think we introduced the show. Did we tell everyone what the leaderboard looked like right now or no? Should we? Should we run through the 10, the top 10? Yes. Who do you think is number one? How Flange. many points do you think they have? Flange is number one with 98 points. 98 then points. Lobaka is second place, 68 points. Then Schwingles, your arch enemy, with 63 points. Oh, then actually, Grimward. Schwingles has 62 points. <laughs> well, guess who else has 62 Just points? For showing weakness today. <laughs> Uh, you always wait, say that. You always say never apologize. Is it? Is it? Is it punish? No, no. Is it Grimward? Grimward is four. Yes, with oh. sixty-two points. Oh. Then, then punish. Then it's got to be punish Anus. Punish Anus with fifty-eight points. Yeah. Then in sixth place, Hendo Calrissian with also fifty-eight points. So I guess it's tied for fifth. But Big Row 1 has got a lot of points. You'd figure Big Row 1 would be in the mix. 57 points. Oh, whoa. Big Row 1 is in seventh place. It's very close. <sighs> then, eighth place, Beach That Makes You Old with 55 points. Ninth place, Rex Bosworth, Champion of Men. Oh, can I guess 10? 48. Yes, you can guess, guess 10. 10 moved around a lot, so. I think. She's been doing good. She was high in the tournament last year. I think 10's got to be Nia Mix. It is. Good good call. I like that. It's almost like I have access to this same list. I know, but I was just, you know, I, yeah, was, yeah. I was going with it. No, no, I know. I, I knew you realized I was looking at it. Uh, um, <laughs> what do you want to start it with? It was an illusion. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you, you can pick. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm All just right, not doing transitions. Sorry. I gotta go back to this. You let me when you let me know when you're ready. Uh I'm ready. Okay, this one is called Ghosts of Christmas Past. <laughs> oh, it sounds like a real marital arts <laughs> game. Is forming an army. I the like this time already. Has come for one man to stand against them. Who <laughs> will you call? Please, I can't explain now. Just get here as soon as you can. The trailer is really quiet. I'm gonna the turn it off. The movie that will wake you up from evil. Oh wait, the voice is really loud. That's no reason to bar a little raucous illicit sex. You want to start it over again? How about lunch? That most satanic All right, wait. I, I'm gonna have to ride this one. And rather sick people. Sick. A movie with action. A movie that is sexy. I think something's burning in your oven. Whoa! Nice. What is the neck thing? <laughs> the horrors of the Empire of the Dark. That's my baby! I only have one more bullet! <laughs> Starring the toughest and most sensitive man, Steve <laughs> fucking Barquette. Oh, it's a And joke. Richard Harrison, that guy from all the ninja movies. He looks good down there. That's where it belongs. Featuring lots of this bridge. Uh, 
Tell Freddy and Dan you're going to be in the house. Okay. And a lot of robes. Ooh, that's a cool Empire title, the way it, the like, dark. turned like that. Yeah. You're damn right. Okay. What'd you say to him? I told him... I told him to go to hell. <laughs> okay, I got a question. And okay. I'll tell you right now, if, depending on the answer to this question... I'll give this trailer one point, but if someone from the shit for if if this is a trailer that an audience member made, I'll give it two points. Do you want me to look that up, or is somebody going to call? Is it that up? in the comments? Oh, I, oh, let me. I look. think they would say in the comments. Okay. They, Nope. Nope. Uh, oh, it point. doesn't say that I made this. Um, the the context was martial arts expert fights Satanists and the devil. Submitted it once already, but this is for the martial arts week, so this is also my last submission. Uh, all right, I'm going to give um, one point for being... Uh, it, it wasn't a shitty submission. It was a funny move, a funny... Thing. I think if you made it, I'd be like, oh, that's great. You just wanted to show this off. Uh, but since you didn't, the whole narration thing gets in the way for me of like how entertaining it was. And so it gets one point from me. I feel like if somebody, yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you guys, Chad. I, I feel it is like a fan made trailer, but you know, it, it could be a great movie that didn't have a trailer. A lot of people hit me up asking if they can make a trailer, and I'm like, sure. But I feel bad if we wouldn't pick it. So and I'm not going to be like, we'll definitely watch it because you made it. Uh, in the future, though, what takes me out of it, and I think you're on the same thing, is like, if it's just a straight voiceover, you know, I'd be fine with it. But when it's like, you know, a little tongue in cheek, like this bridge is a lot, Steve fucking Barrett, that kind of pulls yeah. me out. Just be straight with the trailer. You don't have to be jokey with it. The movie's funny enough. Um, I, the movie looked hilarious. Like when he punched, <laughs> like um, some people have also pointed out that it's not really like a martial arts trailer. So I kind of have to. I, I kind of I kind of understand that there is some kung fu fighting parts in it, but really it's not like a. If I, there's like more swords in it, I don't know. Are swords martial arts? We did have this big. I thought martial arts we we called hand to hand combat. I mean, what about ninjutsu? Well, there's a lot of hand to hand combat in that, right? Swords are martial arts? Or I guess but, I had a guy to sword. I mean, ninjutsu I liked it enough. is. I, I martial think it's arts. off. I feel it might be a little off theme. It's, it's kind of blurry. But I will give it a point because the submission, it looks rad. Like the movie looks fucking like. I'm like, this is up my alley. The only reason I'm not giving it two is it's a. It, not necessarily the the theme is maybe a bit murky, but the the trailer not being like a, a true trailer. But yeah. I know you got to work with what you have, so I'm going to give it one point. And chat gave it zero points. Zero points. Chat's a oh. chat's a fickle bitch. Sorry, away stork away. I liked it. Uh, okay. You fickle bitches. We already knew chat was a fickle bitch. All right, this. Boxing is a martial art? Boxing is a martial art? Well, it's like, you know, we had this conversation. I'm like, yeah, I guess it is. Certain things are martial arts. All right. Uh... If I go like this, does it look like I have my hand around your, your, your back? Uh, a little. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little. Uh, all right, new trailer. This is chat was asking for this one before, 
before we even started, uh, or a, one of in this series. So, figure if they're hungry for it. Let's give it to them. Get ready. I'm ready. For the thrill ride of the year. The three ninjas are back. Let's rock. Teamed with the ultimate ally, Hulk Hogan. Teamwork. Their power is like pumping with yeah. pure energy. Want a piece of me? Come and get it. Anderson, Jim Varney, three ninjas. Jim Varney. High noon at wow. Canada. Let's have some fun. It's funny because, like, I don't know when did this come out. Uh, I don't know. Like, this came out like we were too old. Oh, 1998. Do you think there were a lot of kids that were like into the three ninja thing? that were like uh Lonnie Anderson's in this. <laughs> ooh. Yeah. Ooh, ooh la la. Uh I mean like I bet there was there wasn't even a lot of kids that were like Jim Varney's in this. Wow. Uh How many three ninjas movies are there? In uh, the extended universe. <laughs> My brother loved the three ninjas movies. There's seven. He was seven. Thirty-three um, three ninjas movies. They oh they decided to end it on the three. I will say this. Um it's funny because when Sam and I were kids, like, you know, early nineties, late eighties, ninjas There's were four. Four. wild everywhere. You know, it was like ninjas this, ninjas that, American ninja. And so I'm assuming we're going to see a lot of stuff like that, but it's really funny because, and like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all that shit, but this came out in like 98. So it was kind of like after the crest of the fad. So I think it's funny that they're still doing like ninja things, but I guess ninja things are, are hot again, right? Well, yeah, they never I, really I mean, you still had like surf ninjas, surf ninjas and three ninjas and sidekicks all kind of came out around the same time. I feel I was a ninja for Halloween like six years in a row. Yeah. All right. So chat gave this two points. Two um, points. Of all the free ninjas, three ninjas movies, I am not sure if I like this one the best. I'm going to give it one point. I'll give it one point. I mean, like, I, I like that we're recognizing the Three Ninjas franchise. As I mentioned last night on stream, not the, the after stream. I had a killer three ninjas tweet and it's probably related to the fact that we're doing this theme the three ninjas has been on my mind so i gotta i gotta pay them their dues so i'll give them one point so that's uh four points going four points. to ryan scott atkins hey ryan scott atkins friend of the show uh, i will say sick sith psycho sith Sorry, I lost your thing already. Sith Psychopath. Sith Psychopath said, Back then, fads died in parts of the country over years, or tears. Tears? Um, it was before the internet united us. And I think that is an interesting take because, like, that was a thing where things would be popular in different pockets of the country, but there wasn't, like, this thread to, you know, unite the fads at the same time, you know? Yeah. So I, I could see that, how... Uh, yeah, all right, you got years. See, I was there. I was with you. Did you know, um, uh, like, you know how, like, people, like, said the term rad? Yeah. Oh, rad. Do you know yeah. how I started that? I remember that. Yeah. What was the context, though? I was like, um, I knew, as a little kid, I knew the term radical, like, meaning, like, something that was, like, extreme and, uh... uh what is too syllabic heavy? Yeah, and I was cool. like, you know what, that, that, the, and I was watching a skateboarder, 
Yeah. Or no, it wasn't a skateboarder. It was a BMX biker on a quarter. Okay. Bike. And he did a move, and I and I just felt inspired, and I and I was like, that move that move was rad. And huh. then everyone kind of around me went, huh? They weren't like you mean radical. Yeah, they weren't like they they got it. Okay. And they were like, oh yeah, rad, rad. And then it just swept like wildfire. Makes sense. Uh. Okay, okay. Do you got Do you got another one? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm I'm dog sitting, and the dog is just like its own person that just does whatever it wants. Hey, come here. <laughs> the dog's its own person that does what. The, the dog's a dog. It's its own autonomous being. <laughs> this dog is the best. No, it just kind of like lives its own life and it's like, I'm going to go outside now. It's pretty funny. She's cute. She's from Costa Rica. Um, her name basic, is also Sam. Basic Twitch bitch says, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good comment. And basic You're smelly. Twitch bitch does not appear to be subbed. So if anyone's doling out those subs, those gifts. Okay, I have one that was submitted a lot. Um, this was one I'm like, this could be a challenge because it was submitted a lot, and I can only assume that it has a lot of alternate trailers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sammy. Okay. Uh, you're, you're good. You're good. For centuries, the Society of the Black Dragon has sanctioned an ancient rite of combat known as the Kumite. Open only to the world's most lethal warriors. It has never been won by a Westerner. You are not Japanese. I can do it. Now, for the first time, the true story of America's super agent, Frank Dukes, can be revealed. Uncle Sam can't afford to let you get hurt. I'm going to. Why did they have to make it American? Why couldn't you just done like and punch? An awesome human weapon. Akumite? Oh, that was awesome. Who infiltrates the Chinese underworld. I did not hey, prefix suffix. To enter a forbidden... I like how shut the door with his foot, too. I like how this is during that period of time where... Where every fighting style... It was... <laughs> They're like, Every white guys are the underdogs. Flash in savage combat. I'm separate the men from the boys. And nerds. Yes, yeah, time to separate the men from the nerds. What do you say? Martial arts sensation, John claude Van Damme. Did you say I will rape you? <laughs> Blood you. sport. Which the also was in... Of the ultimate isn't that a line from... Uh, <laughs> Kumite. Kumite. Let's go. Cool. Oh, I'm going to break you. Okay. Yeah, I heard wasn't it. that also a line like, from Rocky IV? Yeah. I will break you. I will break you. It's a good you. line. Yeah. Um, so that was Bloodsport. That was a cool trailer. Yeah. That one, I think, was the most submitted trailer of the week. Uh,. I liked it. I thought that was like a solid. That's what I want out of a trailer. Trailer. Oh, yeah, you get all the stuff. Pepperoni huh? Pizza Man just gifted basic bitch a basic Twitch bitch a tier one sub. That's the kind of community we like seeing around here. That's so nice. Way to go! I, yeah, I like that. Um, I I liked Bloodsport. Um, it's it's like straightforward, you know, like. I don't, I mean, I could be remembering it wrong, but it's like a pretty straightforward story, right? You know, it's like you have to fight all these guys for the U.S. government. I guess I don't really know what happened there. I, I always get <laughs> it. Steve says, I can't vote yes because the guy kept saying it was a true story when we know it wasn't. <laughs> I, I, I keep, I 
uh, I keep getting that confused with um, Best of the Best, which is more of like a nationally sanctioned, like, That's Olympics. That's an actual fight thing. thing. Yeah. Chat gave that two points. Um, I think I'm going to give it two points. Although it's, I think, um, what are you going to give it? I'm going to give it two points also. I, I like That's it. six points. Um, I don't, it's not my favorite Van Damme movie. Um, I think Lionheart might be my favorite of that style era, you know, of the older Lionheart, ones, I think. I will say this about that movie, Lionheart. And maybe, very similar. Maybe someone submitted it. But Lionheart, I feel like, is the closest a movie has ever been to feeling like you're playing like a Street Fighter type game. Do you know? Like, like a more yeah, yeah, combat yeah. street? Like, because you're the in like weights, weird uh, backgrounds, you know? Right? Yeah, the way it's designed is just like, hey, we're going to have like a short scene and then we're going to have a fight in a weird place. And then we're going to have a short scene and then we're going to have a fight in a weird place. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so that was submitted first again submitted by a lot of people that was submitted first by Sagumist. so Ooh. six points on the board for sagumi the mobs fam um yeah so good submission good chat that's kind of the vibe we're, we're going with tonight so i'll feel that i feel it's like a good baseline thing um <laughs> <laughs> all right cool yeah uh, all right, but no one. What do you think of Lionheart? What's your favorite Van Damme movie of that? Uh, that Lionheart one? might be a, a good pick. Uh, or do you know it's a good one? No. I forget who. Like, I feel like someone a little extra directed this, but Hard Target. The Is that one the that one like, with Dennis Rodman? No, Hard Target was with uh, I think Lance Hedrickson. And it's like, uh, it's it's the one where he like dodges an arrow at one point. That's a good one. John John Woo directed it. Yeah, oh. and it's like a kind of like uh, people hunting people for game kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. A lot of these movies like sudden, join up in my memory. Sudden death. I had COVID. I've been wanting to watch forever. I always like almost watch sudden death. But is that the one that death, is at the hockey game? It did. That was. You remember how we were talking last night about how uh, um, Die Hard with a Vengeance wasn't a Die Hard script, and they made it a Die Hard script. Yeah. Sudden Death was the opposite. I think, from what I oh. heard, I think Sudden Death was supposed to be a Die Hard movie, and then they just made it a Jean Claude Van Damme movie. Because it's very much that, like, oh, they're at a place. And, uh, yeah, like all of a sudden there's, there's, uh, yeah. Um, I got, I got flustered cause dark bastard said I'm pretty cool. And that's the kind of, uh, that's the kind of, uh, 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 positive affirmation I need, you know? Yeah. You need that. <laughs> We were talking before the show that uh, Nate, who is not a public figure in any way, uh, now all of a sudden has all these streams up on YouTube, and he's like, man, people do not like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We get a lot oh, of comments. Welcome to well, the it's, internet, it's, bud. You know, I, I upload the VODs, and so every time there's a comment, I get like a notification for it. And so, you know, a lot of them are, you know, pretty good. And then a lot of them are like, who's this other guy with Sam? He sucks. I'm like, oh, and I reply. I'm like, hi, I'm, Sam. I'm a real person. <laughs> I'm thin skinned. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I gotta stop getting in fights on the subreddit, on the, on the WK, not fights, but I'm just very defensive of you guys. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not trying to be spicy. I'm, I'm just defensive. Anyway. I mean, I, I think that that last night's self suck wasn't the best. It was kind of mellow vibes. Darren wasn't there. Uh, we were just hanging. Uh, but I also thank you for, for having her back, Nate. Always. 
Uh, well, I thought it was great. You know, like I feel like a part of the, the whole self suck thing is like when you just find the corners of what you're doing and then you kind of like you get into like a rhythm. And, you know, I feel it was you know, saved by that. Brad Pitt. I forgot about the Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fat piece Pitt. of shit. <laughs> super fat. Yeah. That today is this person was like, oh, I turned it off early and I was like, no, fuck you. They miss all the good stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah right. i mean i guess some of the fans do like like i don't think um pemberton is funny I, I love pemberton too oh i think he had a good show there was somebody that had a uh that got a lot of hate uh fade him fade him got a lot yeah. of hate fade him yeah. yeah. still He's got so hate funny. when i called him and like this is the thing it's like i call him he i ask him to do a very specific thing and, and he, he crushed it. He nails it. He yeah. does it so good. Yet yeah. there's still people in chat who are like, wow, that guy was really not funny last time he was on. <laughs> That's the craziest thing is I just, it's I feel like, people don't get him. What? Um, his whole origin story is amazing where he was like doing stuff and then like you guys met him and then I know he's told the story a bunch, but it was like, you know, you guys are big fans of his. So it's like, if people like you, they should be willing to you know give him a shot anyway next trailer yeah next <laughs> we've got yeah self self suck trailer boys all right uh give me love give me love give me love oh oh, oh i thought you were talking to chat <laughs> i want i want love from chat too i don't need it i need love from this dog though <laughs> all right here we go oh my mouth we poop the green and oh, the sounds in one chair. Oh, I love when that happens. Oh, shit. This is dope. Ninja Commander. Witness a ruthless gang of mobsters whose pleasure is decadence and brutality. I must find Adam and avenge our master. Is that Brian Cranston? Ultra is most no, it's uh, Lowell. Uh... <laughs> Thomas Hayden Church. <laughs> I think a red ninja outfit is not the most secretive. <laughs> Yeah. And his headband says ninja. Headband says ninja. <laughs> ninja alert, ninja what is that, guy? Is he some kind of uh, chef the in the white? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, as a kid, we used to like buy like karate magazines and then like look through the back and there'd be like catalogs with uh, that looks like a Scoot McNairney. Uh, in this explosive drama, the secret code of the ninjas is finally uh, revealed. There'd be like catalogs with like split toe shoes and stuff. Yeah. I want to go so bad. And like ninja stars. Ninja commandment. Don't miss it. This is Coming dope. Soon on this screen. On this screen? <laughs> I love go go back just a little bit like the last like 10 seconds there where the guys are flipping and the other guys are <laughs> like swinging under where his legs will not be <laughs> but, all right that dude does look like Scoot McNerney right it looks kind of like a Jesse uh, I feel a white ninja costume is not the best because if you get scared and shit your pants, you're not gonna look like a very good ninja. ninja I don't know if they have to worry about that much. But also, it's not good because, uh, you, like, if you're ninja trying to hide in the shadows and stuff, are caught in the whirlwind not great, the right? But what if you're hiding in the opposite of the shadows? Then white is where it's at. Right? Yeah, the guy with the, the scene where the guy kills himself is awesome. There's only one way to prove my right. innocence. <laughs> There's only one way to prove my innocence. Ninja and I'm going to kill myself with Scoot McNary. The secret code of the ninjas is finally revealed. 
What's the secret code of the ninjas? You have to, <laughs> commandment number one is that you need a headband that says ninja. <laughs> it works for hiding in the snow, yeah, you're right. Snow ninjas? How come no one's ever made a movie called Snow Ninjas? Well, they made snow dogs and they figured, that's eh, close enough. <laughs> the dogs do no kung fu. <laughs> Damn. Um, I like that. I can easily, I'm going to say I give that two points, like right off, like, it's so this is the kind of thing that you and i would have rented like every weekend yeah like we, we must have rented an american ninja war uh, not american ninja warrior but america ninja in america american ninja yeah the whole Canadian ninja <laughs> <laughs> also all the ninjas are white is that what we're looking at here <laughs> that's brian cranston obviously i thought that's thomas hayden church mm. He's like, uh, <laughs> I like how I'm the Sandman. Not only does it say ninja, but it's like in a graphic of like a guy <laughs> of a ninja. So if this doesn't do it for you, here's a picture of what I should be doing. <laughs> uh, Richard Harrison was mentioned in Ep Empire of the Dark earlier. That's Richard Harrison. That's funny. Oh, really? Wait, who's Richard Harrison? Wasn't he like married to Barbara Streisand? Streisand. Streisand. Yeah, from. Uh. <laughs> um, Sam, that was a phenomenal THC. I don't know what that means. Thomas Hayden Church. I got it. <laughs> oh, thank um, uh, <laughs> Check it at three points. And I. I, I'm with them. I'm, I'm going to give it two points. I'm going to give it my, my maximum points. Two points. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll also give it two points. I thought that was fun. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. That's you know, from earlier. Um, wrong window. Uh, and that so, was Ninja Commandments from Professor Marth Lives. Hey! P L L. If I knew it was Professor Marth lives, I would have given it nothing. The guy <laughs> is a bastard. <laughs> oh, that's too zoomed in. Oh, that's seven points. Seven points. Okay. All right, Timmy's here. Oh, guys. everybody, it's time to sing the birthday song. No, not yet. Not yet. Just wait. Just wait. It's Timmy time. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, how do I sound? Do I sound okay? Uh, I you have sound to older. This a little. I sound older. You sound older. I love how like the the thing at that point was just my belly. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just uh, I'm doing a bunch of things. Why are you doing uh, these things? <laughs> You're like, I just got home. I'm on the show. Let me. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that is how it is. What do you want me to show up at 945? That's yeah. fine. Do whatever you want. It's your birthday. Oh, no, man. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I'm trying to get on here and watch the things. And I'm so tired because Nate made me keep <laughs> streaming last night. Sam, are you aware of how much time I clocked in? I'm yeah, expecting a paycheck a bonus. Yeah. You did like Better. a quarter of a day. Yeah, dude, you guys, you guys got to send me money. <laughs> We did beat that guy, though. We did beat Skeletor. We did. You like, know what, Nate? Forever. Mark, yeah. my daughter and I just played through that. Beat him first try. But I was also, like, shouting directions through the whole time. Jump. Circles. Run away from the green stuff. Shoot the pink stuff. Okay, so how's my sound? Does my voice come through again? You sound I guess great we should to me. Chat. Yeah, okay, you sound great to me. My daughter, uh, she's at a good crossroads of youth and becoming a young adult because... She gave me a nice hand-drawn birthday card, but then also bought me like a good practical present that I actually needed. And she got me a computer, a USB gaming headset. So I'm trying yeah, you sound it on. Crystal clear. Really dope. Yeah. Hey, Margaret, I saw good. Cool. She's probably fell asleep reading, and I should go uh, get her to bed. They like uh, finish She's turning off the lights. She can, she can figure out how to fall asleep on her own. She's in a loft bed. No, she knows how to fall asleep, but it's like going and turning off things, you know. Off She's all the in stuff. a loft bed? Yeah, it's weird. No way. No. So I like, have to fall. hand things to her. No, that's uh, Sam. She's had that thing for like five years, and that's been the only thing I've thought about for five years. When she goes to bed, it's like, she's going to fall out. 
We, Sam and we, I had a bunk members? bed once. We had a bunk bed, <laughs> and there was one more. There's a puppy. There was one night, like at like five in the morning, and Nate is like, "Sam, are you okay?" And I'm, I turn to him, and I'm like, "Yeah, I was on the floor." <laughs> Way off. I I, I, um, I fell off. <laughs> we've had some crazy bunk bed accidents. My, my favorite. Had, oh, go ahead. Sorry. We had a wooden bunk bed that had a knot in the crossbar on the top bed. And it broke, and I don't remember who was underneath it, but somebody was underneath it, um, and like the whole like it was like that scene in Step Brothers. And then another <laughs> time, we were fucking around, and somebody. Uh, when we were little kids, you know, playing in the bed, it was either you or somebody else, like their leg got stuck, like the bunk bed moved, their leg went down the side of it where the wall was, then it moved back and they got stuck. And we were like, I don't know what to do, mom. Like it was, yeah, it was crazy shit. Uh, wow. I guess I could do the green screen. I'm going to go check and see if she fell asleep. So I'm glad this sounds good. That's great. Nice She's sound. like, I don't know if it's good. I'm like, no, it's Logitech. I'm like, half my other stuff is Logitech. It's all good. It's going to be good. Stuff. They make good lights, apparently, too. Yeah. yeah. They, if you have an extra blurry. $60 sitting around, the, their light's pretty good. Oh, I'll be right back. I did get Timmy these lights, though, so he's got one of these. Yeah. Yeah, it's just basically a better version of that. Um, Trailer Boys, brought to you by Logitech. They should sponsor us, though. I have a Logitech camera, and it's great. Although right now, I think it might be blurry. So maybe it's not like a good... Do I look blurry? For that sponsorship. It's their fault. Um, no, I look good. Actually. Hey. What's oh. I'm going to turn this down. And then turn... Oh, Pluto TV. One of you guys... Timmy and I talked about this last night. Dude. Somebody needs to go. Somebody in Hortown needs to go get a job. Do you know at Pluto TV and be the inside guy? Do you know it's fucking crazy? What's that? Birthday Boys had like a marathon on Pluto TV. On their own channel? Uh, I don't know what the deal was. Maybe it was on the IFC channel. Maybe it was like like uh, you know IFC, but they had. And I was I was so jealous of those guys, but they're good guys. All right, the kid the kid is done, and this kid's back. Birthday Boys is good, but I'm saying if Birthday Boys have a channel, why this could sh- should have a channel? Well, right know. now Birthday Boy does have a channel. Hey, oh, so, they did, so it is a channel. <clears throat> I'm saying. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, I'm saying oh, the I'm birthday, a birthday Boy, boy and oh, this I, is our I channel. Get it. Yeah, I forgot it was your birthday again. <laughs> Sam doesn't think about birthdays because he was hatched. Yeah. What, were you grown in a tube? From a a tube? He came yeah. out of a cloaca. I have <laughs> no belly button. That's a little fat he's a, he's about a, me. He's one of those Kyle XY types. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's about seven people to get that joke. Trevor Love talked about that those movie posts or those they had that TV show and their posters. When you live in New York and there's any show coming out, you see posters of it for six months before the show comes out. Yeah. And Kyle XY was a show on CW, and there are posters for it everywhere. And the posters were just some guy, shirtless with no belly button. Or no, he's like pulling up his shirt he's to reveal. Pulling up his shirt, yeah. Like check he's out, like, you guys. I don't I'm blank. Mm-hmm. No, he's a clone, right? Wasn't he a clone? Yeah, he was a clone. Yeah. I've not seen Kyle XY. Jesus Christ, guys. I don't know, Nate. I mean, what were you telling me last night that you love CSI or something? It's quality Dude, we television. talked about everything last night because we were streaming <laughs> we for deep, yeah. 14 fucking hours. Timmy, did Yo. you get the link? Um, I'm in the, the room. Do you You're know? in the, the viewing room. Yeah, do I need to put a thing in or no? I'm just no, no, I'm there. It'll play, it'll play. I see you. Uh, do you know it'd be a sick Halloween costume or a Comic Con costume? What's that? That girl from NCIS? Yeah. The punker girl? Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying a sick costume for me? She's no, not a punker. Her, she's an elder goth. She's an elder goth? Yeah. Like Cthulhu? She's a Cthulhu? Abby, Abby from NCIS? That would be like, her name's Abby? I, guess, I feel like if what, you name a character that looks like that Abby, you're just not trying, right? Because it's yeah. like... Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would love that. 
Oh, earlier, I don't know if they're still doing it, but but Frank Howley was watching uh, old videos that people shot at Tucson Comic Con in like 2009. That's quality entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> like, real, like, some real shitty Goku costumes. It's that's pretty <laughs> great. Uh, oh, someone submitted Marantau. And only they're wrong about part of it, but that's okay. I'm a real nerd about this subject. I know. Timmy, Timmy's like threatening his nerdy dumb. Marintau, yeah. the raid. Gar- the raid's Gareth Evans' second movie. No, the raid is Gareth Evans' second movie. Marintau was his first one. It was them trying all their shit out. It's not a contest, Timmy. I know, but it, I it can't is help it. This is a it. subject. It is literally a contest <laughs> well, uh, that you even told me more contest stuff about i didn't know about but what i'm saying is this is uh this is a subject uh of which it can it flows out of me i can't help it i've and i was not like this when i like lived in, you know. 9000 said get that ass timmy <laughs> get that ass timmy yeah okay. uh but but yeah. no the thing is is this is probably the the thing i most recently uh, nerdy about so i'm still very passionate about it passionate about it someone says timmy looks like tommy was all right now yeah you look like 2020 <laughs> yeah people would say that for years it's already his Come birthday. On. Yeah, yeah, did yeah, you yeah, have to least... say tommy was out you could have said he no. looks like jared leto from the we work movie yeah. <laughs> same thing um, same thing or uh i'll always take glenn danzig uh but here's the thing is like yeah, I have long okay, like Tommy Wiseau to me. That's a it's a low effort comparison because he's a funny thing to think about. I have long black hair. I am listen. I never call myself attractive. I'm always digging on myself, but I am infinitely more good looking than Tommy Wiseau. Right? He's like he looks like an orc. Plus, he's always he thinks he's hot, which makes him more ugly, right? Because he's like showing his ass in that movie and everything, right? I, I don't know. I haven't seen his ass. You've never seen. He, doesn't he show his ass in the room? I'm sure he does. Doesn't he? There's like that gratuitous sex scene. I think Timmy. I think you're being like kind of mean. Me, mean to Tommy Wiseau? Yeah, you're kind of being a bully right now. <laughs> to Tommy Wiseau. Yeah, he's specifically been to enough. Tommy Wiseau. He's been through enough. Well, well, that's the thing is, I don't think we don't think he has though, right? Isn't he? Didn't he kind of lie about everything? Do, do you guys want to watch some trailers? Yeah, let's stop <laughs> talking about whatever the hell this okay. thing is. You ready? Uh, where are we at? Um, well, we watched a few, but now we're ready. It's my turn, and if, then if they have you a, get to go. If they have a score next to it, we've already watched it at in that, that yeah. right column. And you're skipping all the ones in between the scores? They've been no, skipped. No, 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 no. These are pick oh, you're just going around. Yeah, we're just yeah. like picking things you're like, oh, this looks out. cool. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure, we're just sure, picking sure. shit out. Um, and if it's I pink, what does that mean? Pink is... Repeats. Uh, yeah, it just means that like somebody it's been submitted twice so you can still pick it what about if it says s or n next to it that means just just, sam and i picked them out but you can still ooh, play those if you, you want can still play those yeah, yeah. yeah. oh because uh, we haven't watched them yet got gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. we get so many oh and then that, one like, that's just like, pink oh, in the title means them. that it's a repeat yeah. suggestion yeah. Gotcha, but gotcha, most gotcha. shows you can still most play shows it. It just people would think we would have this conversation before the show but not this one no, we have the, You guys have this conversation every time, especially when I show up because I don't remember anything. Yeah, uh, but let's watch a trailer. You guys ready? Yeah, guys go for it, screen? Nate. What you All got? Right. We knew this day would come. He has returned. Wait, hold on. He is our Antichrist, oh, and he must be defeated. What? Should I pause it? Yeah, pause oh. it. Oh. I've not seen the first one. We've watched this trailer on the show before, by the way. Oh, Sam, you liked this movie, right? Or the first one. I've never seen it. I haven't seen it, no. Oh, I've seen the... No, uh, the first one's actually from the 80s. I've seen scenes from it. All right. uh, Sorry, guys. My bad. All right, go. You're good. Oops, sorry. We knew this day would come. He has returned. Joe Marshall? He is our Antichrist, and he must be defeated.
with Storm Shadow Sword? Yeah, that's a G.I. Joe pro. What? Continue stream, which is never ends. Did he just say? What is she talking about? Uh, did, did did he say something about a never-ending stream? <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe I am talking was though because I this show. No, I did that last night. Oh yeah, Love holy was shit, Timmy was also, Let's say, uh, but I think don't I look a little more like the samurai cop guy? Uh, like uh, like uh, I don't know, like a little warmed over. He, you know, we have like a warmed over, like egg cooked too long, little bit face. And that guy uh, looks like a skeleton with long hair. <laughs> and I don't, especially right you now. You don't look like a Timmy. skeleton with long I hair. I know I don't look like a skeleton. I look like a dough, a skeleton with a bunch of dough on it, which is essentially what I am. Timmy, you look but, uh, faded. Can I just say, you look dude, faded? Dude, I'm tired like as hell, as dog. I'm yeah, so tired. High. I'm not faded. I'm not high. I'm not, I'm just tired. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I didn't sleep much last night. Got up, uh, did a couple hours of work, uh, then came home and did chore stuff, then had my kid, then went to my uh, folks, and we made pizza and ate cake, and then opened presents and came here. So, you know, a- Abby Sally says, I think this is a great way to say it. Abby Sally says, Timmy is what you order, Tommy's what you receive. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's really yeah. funny. <laughs> expectation versus reality i liked that trailer i thought it was silly and had a bunch of weird stuff in it um now we watched um, that trailer before we have watched it yeah. oh, for that one um i gotta so resident evil says i'm kind of disappointed they didn't get robert zadar back uh you're about to get more disappointed about robert zadar <laughs> he he's dead <laughs> so oh, no. he's not alive oh, no um we also have something she- to tell you about trevor uh. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually Robert Zadar. <laughs> um, I I feel that I liked it, but Chad gave at one point. A lot of people are saying that because we've watched it already. What theme did we watch it on? Now, uh, did you do action movies or something or sequels? We did do sequels. Yeah, it might have been sequels. Yeah, guys. Yeah, so you're that, not no, I agree. There's what? a lot of people in chat that's saying too soon. You're right. Robert Zadar did die quite frequently. <laughs> like, uh, 2015. Too recently. Too recently. Too too frequently. <laughs> they uh, <laughs> well, frequently, he uh, yes. what happened is he um he ran afoul of uh with some gambling debts of the mafia and they they dipped his chin in cement. <laughs> that's uh, like a that's like a Jay Leno on a bad day level of joke and. I apologize. It's a Jay Leno on a bad day level of chin. <laughs> Damn, uh, Sam. Good work, man. Yeah. That was uh, great. Wrote, th- to be fair, we wrote that, that banter beforehand. So. Yeah, Sam and I. At, well, we didn't write it. Our teams of writers <laughs> did. Teams. I have six guys here in an office in South Dakota. Sam has six guys there. And they, they had a they, we make we made them work for twelve hours today just to hammer that out. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. We care about this show. <laughs> uh now Timmy, now uh I, no. I well that trailer I'll give one point. It is a good trailer, but we did watch it already. Right. It doesn't make me it, it does make me want to see more of what happened. You know, so one, one or two points. Ten, entertaining. You can do zero, one or two. I'm doing time. points. Uh, one. I'll give one. Right, that's two, three, four, five points, and that goes to um the person known as Legion Italia. Mm. I feel it's been a while since Legion Italia has been on. So good to see the name. All right, Timmy, um, you have the list. Is there anything you so want to? So I uh, yeah. Do I just select one and throw it into the viewer? You you can, or you can just tell us what number from the thing. But yeah, the the link should be there. Just copy the link, and then in the viewing thing, you can just put it at the top bar there. Uh, search or paste the link. Yeah, I'll just do that. Yeah. Do you need to go? go to oh, why is it little? Why did it go little? 
Oh, and then you click it when it's little, and it oh, plays okay. it for all of us. Oh. There we go. Here we go. The Crippled Ooh. Ooh, this is one we watched in high school. The story of two young men who are cut off in their property. What? Oh, this is different than what I'm thinking of. But they're handicapped. I thought it was for a different movie. No, this movie's cool. Okay. I'll, I'll explain what I thought it was in a little bit. Whoa. The Crippled Mountain. Life wasn't easy, but they never expected it to be. And then there are the so-called normal people. It is hell in the crippled heaven. Who's that? Exactly. <laughs> How did you get it? Huh? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Up against impossible odds, the crippled masters are not to be stopped. They train themselves to become the real masters. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So is it one guy has no arms, one guy has no legs? Yeah. Yeah. Come quickly. But. Oh, he's got a, he's got a little hand. He's got, uh, arms he's got one deformed, deformed arm and one, and then Holy no shit. arm on the other side. Wow. That's very fucking cool. Actually, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the chat is typing what you're thinking and you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> The Crippled Masters. They are Frank Shum and Jack Conn. Featuring also the Yoga Grandmaster Ho. A Yoga Master? You'll see it all in oh. The Crippled Masters. Wow. Coming soon to this theater. Coming soon. I feel a Yoga Master is less impressive to me. Right. Well, after seeing you know, all that. So, uh, oh, Frank just jumped into chat. Frank, good stuff earlier with the Comic Con stuff. That was uh, some funny it. stuff. Um, so I thought that was the crippled Avengers, which is a Shaw brothers movie about four guys that get handicapped by an evil army that occupies their village. Those actors were in the crippled Avengers are not actually handicapped, but they're portraying people that are, and then they get metal limbs and, and different things made to go avenge themselves. This was, I think cooler because you're, you got that people with actual, physical limitations that have learned martial arts that's pretty yeah, great they're Someone... actual uh uh the film stars jackie Khan and frankie shum two uh -huh. genuinely handicapped martial artists as the film's disabled protagonist shum a sufferer of thalidomide syndrome portrays hmm. armless lee ho while Khan portrays tang Huh. Like they so, say the, the 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 malady that one has, and then the other one is just yeah, like, and then, yeah, and then there's this guy the guy plays no the other guy, <laughs> and he just doesn't have legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah like he doesn't have a he doesn't have a disease. He just didn't get legs. Um, He's got withered someone, legs. Someone in there in the chat right away said this is problematic, and people were like, "No, it's not." I agree, it's not. If I was a dude who with no legs or like one uh, small deformed arm and zero arm on the other side, and I went through the trouble of learning martial arts at least to the point where i could 
do choreographed fight scenes, that'd be fucking awesome. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool that they put these guys in it. I don't think it's exploitative. You know, well, probably a little bit, you know, but they're also probably in on it. I mean, they're obviously learning martial arts and doing it, you know? So. That's, that's my question is, do you yeah. think they found these guys and were like, let's do a movie? Yeah. Yeah. Or do you think they were like, let's do the movie. Now we have to find crippled Marshall. We have to do yeah. auditions. For yeah. I think they, I think they no, be, the because of yeah. the way that okay. the trailers presented, it's totally about them. Cause they're like saying the real names in it. And in the seventies and eighties, especially and this is 79, they were really like that. There are so many martial artists just making movies about themselves. There's so many cheesy low budget American movies from that time where some karate club from some town would get a couple hundred thousand bucks to make a movie. A uh, famous one is Miami connection. You know, that one that was unearthed and found recent, you know, about five, ten years ago. Yeah. Friends forever, friends together. That one. Hey, and guys, then there's, I found my dad. Yeah. yeah raw for yes uh raw force ninja busters there's a bunch of them and so that's what this is, is like some martial artists being like hey we're cool let's make a movie about us but this is uh, way more cool than any of that because these guys actually have like a interesting you know angle yeah i'm from. giving that one two the points. Highest. i'm giving chat, it two points too chat gives it the full three we have one point nate gives it one point do you remember watching that nate I don't. Did we watch that? that? Was, yeah, yeah. I think like Sully or Scott had that movie. Oh, you mean like in real life? Yeah. In, Which in movie? High, this one? High, we saw this in high school. Someone brought it oh, over wow. to our house. Wow. That was back in the day where like, you know, people would have like VHS tapes that like think somebody's cousin gave them. And you didn't know if it was like a skate video, some kind of, you know, anime or kung fu movie or like pornography. It was just like a black VHS tape. And they're like, let's see what we got. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing two. So everybody gave it two. So that's got eight points. Wow. No, no. Uh, you have a one point. Nate gave it one, Chat. but Chat gave it three. Oh, Chat gets how many points per one? Three? Three. Oh, yeah. yeah, three points. Cool. And, and I only gave it one point because you're contrarian. Yeah, I mean, normally I say, yeah, I'd be comparing, but uh, I'm just kidding. No, I think I give it two points, actually. I think I do give it two points. Oh, don't let us shame you. The story was good. No, no, I'm trying to think about it, but it was just kind of like, I think it was because I got up because I had to let the dog out. It took me out of it. How do I mute this, dude? Is this how I mean it? Because I got to cough. Mute no, not you mute you. Right mute. I Although, I mean, right that'd be great, but I'm trying to mute this. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, just cough. We want to hear it. One of your most wrestling tapes or wrestling pay per views. I fucked that word up sentence. So you can hear me right now, right? Yeah. You can hear me now. Could you hear me just then? No. Okay. I I figured it out. All right. So should we pick another trailer? Should I show one of mine? Nobody. That was one of yours. Oh, it's your turn. What? What, Nate? We just showed one of yours. That was your. I I meant the ones that I submitted. No, we just take turns. We take turns. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, and so I will tell Chad this: if Timmy picks a trailer that he submitted and you also submitted, we will give you the points for it. Yeah, but that, uh, I don't think that happened. Hmm? I'm looking. Right. I looked at the list. I, I I wouldn't have picked anything that was already on the list. All right. You know. Anyways, go for it, right, Sammy. This is cool. Uh, okay. I am pleased to present our Russian brother. Oh no. Eastern Europe's most feared martial artist. This looks old. Ivan oh, this is Black Eagle. Oh yeah. Okay. Full contact karate, the world's deadliest game, is being kicked apart by the oh, syndicate. There he goes. Machine, <laughs> That's when the world was like, to yes. Jason yes. A man who can't feel his testicles. You've been fighting again. So what? <laughs> you know how I feel how can you fighting? tell? Yeah. Yeah, I do. So what? You're scared to death of it. No. Jason believed in the way of the dragon, but others didn't. Oh, that's where he's fighting birthday parties? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not. 
It was a child's birthday party. You didn't have to fight the father. I would guess that's Van Damme's only scene, right? It's probably yeah. not really a Van Damme movie. There he is in the background. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he goes again. Wow. Foot in my mouth. I bet he doesn't have many lines. I bet it's like... This other guy's movie and Van Damme's right. like his his muscle. Then one day, the <laughs> oh my returns. God! It's he's reading one of those crazy ni uh, ninja books. Whoa! What? Is that supposed to be Bruce Lee? <laughs> I think so. What kind of workout is that with the board? <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah, I think Van Damme's role in this is like they saw um, <laughs> Schwarzenegger in The Long Goodbye and were like, "What if we do the same thing only the guy could kick?" And I mean, like, like someone said, he pulled a Bruce Willis and only shot two days. No, he wasn't famous. I mean, he this right. is so early this in his is, career. You're talking about upward motion versus downward motion. They were like, this was them being like, yeah, let's have this guy in the movie. Wait, he talks yeah. like what? Yeah, uh, this is him getting a shot. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, let's he's gonna not give guy. him any lines. Right, but look how he uh, he looks fantastic at this though with the slick back hair. I mean, that's yeah. the thing is, that's why he became a big star is they give him a little part. And he's the bad guy in this. People see him, him yeah. yeah. People see him moving, and people see his muscles Go and his like charisma. And they're like, holy shit, this guy's better. great. Yeah. And Van Damme is still great. In fact, in some ways, he's greater now. You know, so. Guys into it. Oh, oh, I like how this is like. Okay, you really gonna show us this wrestling? You know, like. Yeah, it's very strange. Also, I feel like this is spoiler territory. Like this is clearly the end fight, and he's. I mean, you know, he's gonna beat the bad guy. <laughs> red belt. Red belt. That's an amazing still shot. Or a, you guys, uh, yeah, screen. yeah. Timmy doesn't know about the ghosts of Christmas past, so he doesn't even know about movies that show the whole thing <laughs> oh i know there's some that do yeah. uh or trailers that show the whole thing uh yeah that was a long uh, trailer was, was it much. oh yeah three minutes yeah it was pretty long no retreat no surrender yeah no retreat good title yeah, yeah. no good title uh action-packed trailer um good I'd give have, it you, have either one, of you uh point. seen or heard of that before yeah no. i've never okay. seen it but i've heard of it. i've never heard of it was that Van Damme's first movie? What is the context of that, Sam? Um, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. I, I love that you guys have that so so the movie nerds can explain stuff in it. Um, um, this movie, <sighs> this movie encapsulates, really oh, encapsulate, <laughs> sorry, this movie Sam, really encapsulates sorry. the 1980s karate craze, a cult classic, and one of John claude Van Damme's first performances. John, Did I say John claude Van Damme? I mean, John, right. You did. John. <laughs> Oh, they play this on Rift Tracks all the time? Oh. Rift Tracks. Directed has by its Corey Ewan. Oh, channel. Corey Ewan's a great martial arts director. Okay. Um, I liked all of that. Uh, and I am, that, that's an easy two points for me. Yeah, I'll give that two points. I, I And I'd say, especially the thing that really pushes it over to the two points is that weird board workout. <laughs> yeah. That, I was like, what? That was fun to see. Hi, Jarek Seer. We're having a good night. It's Timmy's birthday. We're voting on shit. Sam, I think you said two points. Yeah. Didn't I'll do me? one. One. Ooh, okay. I one liked it, point, but though. you know, I feel like it's, it's it was pretty uh, meat and potatoes uh, karate okay, that's movie seven trailer. Points. Chat gave that two points. Seven points for no treat. No retreat. No treats. No treats. No treats. Bad doggy. <laughs> <laughs> the, no treats. Bad doggy going to Shaboy Tom. Um, I, I want to just uh, there's a side note that needs to happen for this one um, I just looked at the oh, Wikipedia page Timmy, sorry go ahead Samuel before uh -huh. we show the trailers we usually don't say what the movie is going to be we usually let I know I didn't yeah. just so you know right I, I didn't though. I knew that from last time okay um okay uh, hold I, I just looked at the Wikipedia entry, entry for this movie first of all Van Damme like knocked someone unconscious during a scene and like got in trouble a little bit but there's a picture of him uh, at the uh, like around the time this movie was made and I have to show the picture real quick can you let me Do show it. the screen yeah, Is it are, you, are you doing your disabled? um no I'm just on my no okay. I'm not doing that yeah if you just uh, enable yeah. sh screen share here we go okay uh, let's just look at this picture real quick 
Wait, that. hold on. It's gonna take me a second. Oh, okay, no problem. Uh, yeah. That is. That's that is fucking dope. I man. mean, glorious doesn't even cut it. I would say righteous mullet. Yeah. Rad, maybe. Bro, Guys, yeah, definitely. Rad. Chat can't see it yet. Give me a second. Ah, oh, sorry. I didn't know. Uh. Let me just see. Oh, here we go. Uh, VTAC versus the world explains it. He hurt somebody pretty badly during that movie, during the final scene. He hadn't learned very well just how to pull his punches, and the director had to keep telling him to slow it down. Huh. Yeah, I, you know, I, I saw something. I think it was on uh, Friend Zone. Hey, there we go. Uh, all right. Sorry, I had to add the audio tracks into the scene. Uh, now they can hear us. Okay, cool. Uh, I I should recreate that look. Yeah, I've had mullets before, but here's the, I can't do the like lifted feathery quality that he has here because look at the top part, the business part of the mullet on top of his head. Uh, it's like hanging up about three inches off of his scalp, right? Well, so it's product. like I, he didn't just I walk out of bed like that. So I know, but like I don't. Yeah, but it. let me finish. That it. that yeah. does look like there could be a woman standing behind him. Yeah, but I don't know the side where it's going over into it. But yeah. look at his bow tie. There's some of the hair falling in front yeah, of his yeah. bow tie. No, but it does like if you squint no, you're right. your eyes. No, I thought for a second looks too. Like, yeah. But he did also have a, a rad mullet around that time, you know, and then later on grew it back to play Chance Bordeaux in one of the best films ever made. Hard oh, yeah. It. That's, that's, we talked about we that talked earlier. About they that asked earlier. me what my favorite Van Damme was, and I was, said it would probably be yeah. Hard Target. Uh, have you happened to see any of the latter day Universal Soldier movies when they rebooted it? Uh, Universal Soldier Regeneration and Universal Soldier Day of Reckoning are fucking good. And he is incredible in both of them. The first one is mostly about Van Damme. The second one is almost like a uh, it's Day of Reckoning came out like 2012. It's basically like Apocalypse Now, only with martial arts scenes and about these Universal Soldier guys. And Van Damme is Kurtz. Uh, it's fucking cool. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, can yeah. you can you stop the share? Oh, I'm sorry. Stop the share. Stop the share. <laughs> I mean, there we go. Yeah. No. Timmy's a Van Damme movie buff? No. I'm a movie buff about kicking. Who got points for Crippled Masters? Who got it? Who was it? Yeah. Uh, Crippled Masters. Did you guys put it in or was I supposed to put that in? I think I put it in. Okay. Uh, Do, 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 uh, do. Lobaka. Lobaka. Congratulations. is obviously the one that asked the question as well. <laughs> uh, asked what question? Oh, who got oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Good job. Who's is Nath- it? Matthew. It's okay. turn? Yep. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing. Wait, you were no retreat, right, Sam? Yeah. Now yeah. it's Nate's turn. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I know you guys didn't like Battleship as a game movie but what about as a i'm just kidding it's not battleship <laughs> okay i love this movie trailer when the lights go down the real action begins ready Get <laughs> 2002 the movie I was just going to say something like that, man. Is this the first one? There's this party tonight. Jake Tyler is such a good name for, like, a white boy character. This world. You can't get much better than this. You don't get to choose your battles. You ready? I love the movies that go in this world and show a mansion. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Now for the bad news. I would like... 
I would like to show one of my handpick ones after this that's going to be an interesting he says, match. He says, the bad news is it's going to end what like you, you look you look like a bitch. Wait. And they cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then Evan Peters is like a main character in this. People come here for the wrong reasons. They never last. Oh! Everyone up. What, uh, uh, Gmon? Is that how you say his name? He's great. Jimon. Jimon? Okay. But this is, check out this song. It's so dope. This movie's so dope. Oh, and that's that guy from... Uh, Oh, he and, said titular line. The guy from uh, 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 what is it? American Horror Story, right? Is that Evan Peters? Evan oh, Peters? Is that, is that who that yeah, is? I think it's him. He's the main character of the sequel. There are four of these. Yeah. Um, and wow. uh, uh, Michael J. White, favorite of Trailer Boys, Michael J. White. Uh, and just taking over the franchise. I'm going to show one of mine. We're still voting. Nate, Jill, Nate, Jeez. Nate. I, hold on. Let me let Keep me talk. It in your Nate, pants. I, Nate, I was not okay. saying I'm going to skip to that right now. I was saying, going off of what you just said, I'm going to show one of mine next, like the ones I picked out that kind of goes with that and also has Michael Jai White in it. That's all I was going to say. I wasn't oh. jumping ahead. Um, I will Sorry, say, I came on your show. Still <laughs> keep it in your pants. Happy Timmy. birthday, Timmy! Thanks. Um, uh, uh, this this movie, though, I, I brought a battleship because it's funny because it's like one of those ones that's like obviously a bad movie. But I I watched this movie in, in a couple of the sequels, and I was like, I really like this movie. I was like, it's it's something I'm just I'm into. Yeah, it is like a 2006 Karate Kid. Um, There's no way that's 2006. <laughs> that's gotta be like 2003 right 2008 really yeah no way let me see we that. had a tv show on air when that movie came out yep 2008 what the that fuck that, like dude, that looks and like it was amber heard somebody asked if that was amber heard <sighs> that, that that seems like it was already like kind of uh i don't know uh some of the concepts in it were a little old for that time or no that music seemed like it was a little from an earlier time than 2008, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it felt like, well, like TRL. So Chad gave that three there. points. Right, I give that two points. Uh, it's pretty good. But I don't know. I think I'll do one. I wouldn't do zero. We we don't have to. We're not limited in how many movies we can give points to, right? No. No. No, we can just do it. Okay. But we want it here's to be the thing. worth something. I know? like watching people fight each other, and all these movies have that. So there's light, unlikely I'll give a zero this evening. But I'll, I'll definitely give that one. All right. So one from Timmy, three from Chat, two from me, obviously. So that's six points. Sam? I'm going to give it one point, and I'll tell you why. Every time there's a Christian movie on here, Nate says... I'm giving it no points because this is Samdering. And I, I just feel like I got to like counteract that somehow, you know? Okay. Uh, I would give it two points, but Nate's such a little bitch. Wow. You know what they say? Ooh. Never back oh. down. Never back uh. down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was good. That was good. So um, that is eight <laughs> points wow. going to Panwall. Wait. Sam gave it one, I gave it one, you gave it two, and Chat gave it three. That's seven. Yeah, but I feel like Chat deserves another point for that one. So <laughs> yeah, no way. I wanna cheat. No way. I, I want to cheat since I made up the rules. So it's I, like when it my daughter Sam's decided day. we're gonna play sorry a different way when she was five and just made up a weird way so she could win. <laughs> so chat gave it four points, I gave it two, Sam gave it one, Timmy gave it two. No, I'm gonna give it zero it now. Points. Now I'm giving yeah, it yeah. zero. <laughs> I'm just gaslighting Timmy and Sam. <laughs> and chat's not having it. <laughs> Here's the thing, Nate. I mean, find a better hill to die on. There's better trailers oh, wait, than chat that. Chat gave it zero? <laughs> they gave it 76% no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm going to give it also 76%. Stick something in Nate's nose that's very hot and just watch him deal with it. It's like a hot spoon. Right. Like a I actually gave it four spoon. points, but I think it's actually three points no it's four points you gave it none i gave it two. no i gave, timmy it, one, gave it right oh you gave it one yeah. all right so timmy gave it four 
No, I gave it one. <laughs> Just because there's anyway, lots of nice, not lots of nice. I, I, I would rabbit hole that to watch like the other four trailers because it's just like hilarious how, you know, it's one of those things where like the sequels have nothing to do with like the first one really, except like one element from the first, from the movie goes into the next movie. So it's like Evan Peters is in the second one, but he links up with Michael J. White and then it's about something else. And then like, then it's like Michael J. White in the third one. And then somebody else in the fourth one. It's, it's pretty great. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So we'll, we'll move on to Timmy's trailer. So what I here's what I want to do, because, you know, I'm very excited about this topic and it's my birthday. So I'm thinking, can I show one of the ones I picked out since no one else submitted it and then pick what a, a chat submission one? Tim, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to show mine first. Then I'll show the chat submission one that I think we really need to get. To, that's one that needs to be seen. All right. So, but here's we're mine. We're not going to vote on Timmy's, but if No, we're not see, voting on the one that what? we're going to show right now. We're not voting on. But if somebody did submit it already, like not right now, but if they're like, oh, I already submitted that, let us know. We'll give you those points. Yeah. But it's not, I mean, I looked, it's not in there. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like uh, I read all the words and didn't see those words. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's, All right. People still submit stuff like within 10 minutes ago, you know? I know, but uh, it's updating uh, real time on this thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't see it. Yeah. Wow. Is this, okay. is this show a, a martial arts movie itself with all this fighting? If this isn't fighting. Is this, this is one person trying to fight. Um, uh, voting, the poll will go up in the top of the chat. So if you're watching the show, uh, you have a one minute poll that will go up in the chat. And this next one, though, is not being voted on, just so we all remember that. Okay, here we go. This is like almost like a different take on what we just watched. Come on, slice. Yeah. All right, Pete. You got to the count of five. You just signed your own death certificate, player. Five. MJW? Yep. After five years inside, I said the name. is ready Shit, to sorry. start a new life. I got to rewind it. I was talking. You got to listen to his name. After five years inside, Isaiah Bone is ready to start a new life. I have no rules, no gangsters, no guns. This may not be the type of place that you're looking for. This seems like just the kind of place I'm looking for. So what's your name? Call me Bone. But a vicious crime lord. Is this play it to the bone? No. Oh, that, oh, that is mine. Is bringing terror to the streets. Come on, let's go. And he is the only one who can step up. Yeah, He's looking cute. Here, huh? To bring him down. Yeah. Who gonna match him tonight? Rufio. Rufio. I call him Bone because that's what he's breaking when he hits. I'm not sure I approve of the company you keep, Mr. Bone. Me neither. <laughs> I have a fight. It's called Bone so Boy. I just sit at the grave. <laughs> <table>. <laughs> I wish. Five million dollars. The fight is on. Never said I would fight. You are in that fight. Somebody's what is that dead. guy from? The bad uh, guy. Eman Walker. It's a. Bu- I forget. He's a bunch of stuff. Oh, I not no, I know this movie. Sense. It's called Spider-Man: No Way Bone. God will not have sent a punishment like me upon you. I forgot you to Karano's in it for a second. God. Ooh. Oh my what in bone? Maybe you should get used to it. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was dope, dude. Yeah, man. And uh, let me tell you, I mean, I was picking out mo- uh, trailers that are good. That movie kicks fucking ass. It's yeah. just like that the whole time. And Wait, the thing Michael J. White was cut out of Kill Bill. Yeah, no, there, you can I, watch yeah. it on the special edition of the DVD. Uh, he has a great fight. It's a flashback fight between David Carradine's Bill and Michael Jai White. They have a fight in like these traditional karate geese in like this village somewhere. Yeah, the Bone Ranger. That would have been a good title for that. <laughs> the <too>. Bone <laughs> Ranger. Well, here's the thing about all the joke titles. You know what? I wanted to, like when that movie ends, you're like, man, I would watch like four more movies about Isaiah Bones' adventures. Like, you know, going to different neighborhoods and cleaning them up, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. and you could use all those titles. <laughs> Did they not make sequels to that? No. That's Michael Jai White is one of those guys that has 
everything you'd think people need for a movie star and like he just like he had that one and then another movie that was supposed to be like a franchise starter called falcon rising about like a private eye kind of martial arts dude never went anywhere and i mean blood and bone is well directed it moves it's not very long it's got good acting and the fights are fucking awesome because the fights look great yeah because you can see i mean the guy looks like a fucking action figure and he's yeah kicking people i mean you I, talked about this last night how uh, like it's right. a shame that he's yeah. not a huger here's like a, a mega he's funny star. you know uh, also, he wrote black dynamite like he's funny you know here's also something is that uh um what i'll say because we to kind of continue the conversation we we're having last night about bruce willis uh-huh. it's like bruce willis is making <laughs> these movies and making them like pieces of shit Mm-hmm. And I feel like Michael J. White is making the same movies, but like he's the guy that's like trying. He's yeah. the guy that's like making him good and interesting and like. Right. And uh, one of the other trailers uh, of mine that I brought that I want to show at, at some point is uh, Scott Atkins, another person like that who makes uh, direct to video action movies. He's a British martial artist. He's brilliant. He looks uh, just like Michael J. White, brilliant, uh, very, pretty good actor, looks great, and really, really good fighter. And, you know, he owns, he, he's a big force in DTV, but like when it comes to big movies, they just like he, Scott Atkins is the guy who gets killed by the cape in the first Doctor Strange movie. You know, like that's like his biggest credit. I think Scott <laughs> Atkins is, is in Hortown. Is that right, Sam? Is in what? Ryan Hortons? Scott Atkins. Ryan Scott Atkins. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So now I'm going to pick one that's front that was submitted. I was looking for it. Um, so okay when someone submits something that's when that was not called play it to the bone no it's not called play it to the bone it's called blood and bone blood and bone um so okay this one it looks like you guys haven't do you know it'd be a good sequel for that is uh skin and bone (laughs) or hair and bone (laughs) flesh and bone oh flesh Flesh and bone. bone i think that already is a movie that's gotta be. That sounds like yeah, something. I think there's a '90s thriller yeah. called Flesh and Bone. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, to- so toenails and bone. Yeah, yuck! Dude, just uh, let's leave toenails out of <laughs> Boogers it. Boogers and bone. Toenails are gross. Boogers and bone. Oh, is that that's a white kids reference? Okay, so here's one that was submitted by chat, and uh, we have not watched it yet. Boogers it does bone. contain two of the words in another one you guys already watched, but all right. So here we go. Uh, all right. It's going to start right up. Yes. Always a good sign. The canon group. I love the canon group. The two words are the and and. No. (laughs) He is the most feared and powerful warrior. A ninja who breaks from ancient tradition and explodes onto America. (laughs) Oh, no. Hopefully consensually. All over its chest and hair. Yeah. And Louis C.K. is all over America. <laughs> His soul possesses the body of an innocent woman and transforms her into a lethal assassin. Who are you? I want to help her. Is that Ellie she? It looks like uh, I don't think so. It looks like I was doing it. James Hong, the trouble little China. Yeah, and everything. James Hong, fucking awesome. He's in that new movie that's out, uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. He's 91 years old. Yep. Yeah. And he's in Turning Red. His voice is in that. Guy fucking works. Where Revenge of the Ninja left off, Ninja 3 begins. An epic is this American Ninja 3? No. And supernatural is it Ninja 3? Yeah. Ninja 3. The domination. Dope. Lucinda Dickey. There you go. Dope. Yeah, dude. Uh, so, so okay. Ninja 3. This is totally separate from the American Ninja movies. So there was Enter the Ninja, which is one of the first white ninja movies where they get Franco Nero, this Italian actor, to play a ninja. I hope and then the there's ninja Revenge of the Ninja. That movie. In this one? <laughs> no, Enter the Ninja. Yeah, he has sex in that <laughs> he, movie. No, have you guys he ever gets seen... fucked. He doesn't have sex. He gets fucked. Yeah, he gets fucked. Have gets you guys ever seen the last shot of Enter the Ninja? No. It's uh, obviously he lives through the movie. Okay. And so he's leaving 
it's like oh, wherever. It and it's it's just it, it zooms in on Franco Nero's face, says the title, Enter the Ninja, then he winks and it freezes on him. It's beautiful. Anyways, beside the point. So this is the third one in that series. But again, like uh, they uh, never back down. They don't really have anything to do with each other. But that movie is fucking awesome. And I'm glad to see that trailer. Uh, it's a short trailer, but I think it obviously makes you want to see what's going on. Yeah, I looked up. Yeah. Um, you know, um, it's like it, de- there's like possession and ninjas. Yeah, you know- you know what was funny? That was like one of those trailers that kind of skips a step where they're like, yeah. here's this ninja. He explodes in America. And then he possesses this girl. And you're like, wait, he's dead? Like, Yeah. <laughs> and, and not that this needs to enter into the scoring for the trailer because we just score on the trailer solely. But the way the ninja dies involves those scenes with the cops at the end or at the beginning of the trailer and it takes like 15 minutes it's like 15 minutes of him fighting cops and killing tons of them and then the and then the movie cool. really begins i like <laughs> that even more it's That's crazy cool. um yeah. i was it's, giving it's it two points movie. before yeah no that looked like a rad movie um oh uh, hold on, i'll be right back wasn't as into it though the trailer yeah what would you give that they gave it two points out of a total of four can i do i have to score it two since i picked it no, you don't. Because it's be like, like you know, it's not a fantastic it. trailer. I mean, it, it's short. It's short. Um, uh, it shows a lot of cool ninja shit. And obviously, if I saw this in the theater in the eighties, I was I would be like, okay, that looks cool. Like a demon uh, ninja soul possesses this like soul eighties uh, lady, and yeah. she has to like figure it out and become a ninja. <laughs> like, yeah, you know. But yeah. is American Ninja Three also a white lady ninja? No, so the American Ninja series is all about uh, it's more white dude ninjas though. So it's about uh, Michael Dudikoff, great name for an action star, and he uh, in the first two movies he's this uh, marine named Joe who doesn't remember his past, but they still let him into the Marines, and he knows uh, ninjutsu, and he gets into ninja adventures. And then the third one they get a different guy because Michael Dudikoff didn't want to do it. And then the fourth one they bring back Dudikoff and the previous guy. So there's two of them. But no, those are all about about him. Um, but yeah, the separate series. There's a uh, '80s loved ninjas. I just I remember like like as a kid like my memory is not necessarily the movies but more like the VHS boxes you know because yeah. we had the things and I remember yeah. there was one where there was like a pink ninja outfit on the cover and I always thought yeah. that was an American ninja. I mean, a I guy bet we could look it up. A pink ninja outfit. Yeah, mm-hmm. Nate. What? In 2022, yes, <laughs> but in the mid 90s, no. You just, guy okay. ninjas were black. Lady ninjas were pink. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, guy ninjas were red and sometimes blue and white and they wore headbands that said ninja on them <laughs> with a little yeah. karate guy that was from ninja go, commandments go, to me watch that earlier what now yeah. which one ninja commandments oh okay yeah, yeah um hold on i'll be right back but uh yeah I, i'm gonna give it one because it's not the best trailer check it great two. That's fantastic three, four, movie. Five. i'm gonna Sam, give it, what are you giving it two i liked it Six seven. Oh, there was a raid. Oh, who you raided? Oh, Burger Planet. Burger Planet. Your raid song for Burger Planet. Uh, it's a raid song. It's a raid song for Burger Planet. For Burger Planet. It's a raid song. It's a raid song. It's a raid. A raid. A raid. 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 We're so happy. That's it's a raid. Hooray! 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 Burger Planet did a motherfucking raid. Ooh, yeah, to the streets. Burger Planet's all about rapping to the beat. It's a one, a two, a three, and the four. Burger Planet's beat drops to the floor. It's a raid song. It's a raid song. Burger Planet's all here. Yo, I'm just that had a prove, lot of verses. Yeah, that was a just good trying one. to prove my. That's your best rated song yet. <laughs> my fanship, I've got it. I love this movie. Being uh, a trailer, I have. I just went over to my movie shelf. I have several movies that start with the word ninja. So I just proving my fucking credentials here. So there you go. 
there's there's multiple series of movies just called Ninja because it's like, well, if your movie's about a ninja, what else do you? Timmy, we trust you. Wait, you don't have to. Burger Planet is a I homeless like, dude hold on. who is a terrible person. What is? What? <laughs> okay. Who's That's calling what homeless people said terrible? That. Oh, Nate, I know I'm you trust me, but before uh, sometimes Gary. on my sometimes on uh, things uh, when I stream and I'll show my movie shelf people like it so that's why i went over there you have ninja ass or, ass in i i don't uh no. well that's on the secret movie shelf oh um you only talk about sunny chiba yet you know that one? wait bird planet that one? is is a really good person who does doordash and they used to do karaoke with timmy at piano bar i'm not sure if that's true the bar was called pianos so uh, what if they tell us their first name or is that, is that breaking oh, a rule? Okay. That's a pet peeve right. of mine. I'll tell you that. What? When people call when pianos people just... piano bar. Yeah. Cause that's not what it's called. Um, okay. So Ninja three. Josh McCutcheon. At least... Oh, it's Josh McCutcheon. I remember him. Okay. okay. Uh, thanks. Hello, Josh. Josh. Thanks well, you guys for... are fi- You guys are arguing about his quality as a person or what? Someone called him a shitty person. And they said he's homeless. Okay, well, everybody's mean all the time. Oh. I said that Ninja 3 had the same words because you guys also played the trailer for Three Ninjas. <laughs> this is Ninja like 3. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, that, that was from the Alien Works. So, the oh, alien. what up? It was, uh, I'm sorry, it's it's slot 1150. Do you want me to put the points in there for you? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm going to... No, no, I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, you go, go for it. What was that, seven points? Uh, Nate, did you keep a track of that? Seven points. Okay. Two, two, one, two. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 is it my do, turn? Do, do. Yes. yes it is. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a movie. This is a. It was like, a movie. Late eighties, <laughs> early nineties movie, and I remember seeing the trailer for this movie and wanting to see it so bad. Uh, I would guess, I think it was in like first grade that I wanted to see it. So, what would it be? So, I think it was a like 89. Uh, let's see if I'm right, but but without any further ado, what does it do, man? It's like, uh, Oh, yeah. oh, good one, one Sam. Pass on the street. Give me your money now, Sorry. sucker. Not Except trying to spoil it. Thing. Want my money? Hell yeah. Huh? Yes. Is this what you want? He has a slight attitude. No problem. Pictures <laughs> <laughs> presents international Kenpo star, Jeff Speakman. You should be more respectful of our organization. Oh no. Is there a problem here? Yeah. Guess so. Hey Terminator, I don't know where you came from, but you better go back. Is that Rufio? That's Rufio too, isn't it? Yeah, Holy shit. So. Yeah. Okay, a I'm Googling. He could not prevent. Him! It's a signature execution, we've seen it before. Leads him into a forbidden world with nothing to rely well, on. Well, Blacklight Dragon Lady. Skills. Who killed Kim? You cannot handle this by yourself. Watch me. Never heard to ask. Everybody in Koreatown knows Young killed Kim. Dick. Yep. Yep. Tracy. Wow. Now we are ready. <laughs> Good job. Young and I have some unfinished business. I will finish it. <laughs> he has no gun. <laughs> Why not? No fear. Are you faster than the speeding bullet? Yeah. So it's here. Yes, about time no, to carry won't. Harry. Oh, and yeah. Professor Tanaka. Oh, this is good. This it is, is a good martial arts trailer. Picture debut. <laughs> Jeff Speakman is the Fuck yeah. weapon. God, shoot it into my dick veins. <laughs> right? That was rad. God. Okay, um, so first of all, if you would have told me that Martial Arts Trailer Night would be a fucking Dante Basco film festival, never would have believed you. That's the guy that played Rufio. 
Yeah. And I just looked it up. He was in this shortly before Hook, and his character in the Perfect Weapon is named Jimmy Ho. So there you go. Also, uh, Kerry Horiyoki Tanaka was in there. He's the guy that played uh, Shang Tsung in the old Mortal Kombat movie. He was in there for a second. And that big bald guy, is that Mako or is that Professor Tanaka? I forget that guy's name. So he has some, some cool Steve name. Steve says R.I.P. Mako. Yeah, that was Mako. Okay. There's a guy, another guy similar to him named Professor Tanaka that shows up. Oh, and, and of course, Tanaka. And, and James Hong is in it too. James yeah. Hong was just in another trailer we watched, right? Which one was he also in? He was just in a... Uh, the one Nate, no, not never back down. Which, uh, what other one did we watch tonight? That had anyway, James Hong is Ninja Three. Oh yeah, he was in that. That's right. Duh. It- Hello, Timmy. You fucking showed it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. James Hong is in everything. Uh, d- also, yeah. James Hong because it's a movie. <laughs> Right. Oh, that was Professor Tanaka, the big guy. I was right. It's Professor yeah. Tanaka. Mako's an older guy. Okay. So, so yeah, they put everybody in that fucking movie. I've never seen it. Always wanted to. And like the, the way, obviously, it's a really fun martial arts movie trailer. It looks like I, that makes me want to go watch it right now. You know what I mean? Is is, um, yeah. is he a cop in that movie? I, I think he's just a guy, which makes it even cooler when they're okay. when he's just a dude. You know what I mean? It's just an expert in it. The the IMDb thing says an expert in Kempo Karate avenges his Koreatown friend. Like, so I think it's just a guy. Now, I think but, I, I conflated this movie with another movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, isn't there a movie that's kind of like this where the guy is blind? There's a lot of movies like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, possibly, Sam. Are you thinking of Rucker Hauer in... Um, right around, he, well, yeah, he plays a blind samurai. Uh, Shibori the Tom says, Kenpo is a style that Elvis did. I've never even heard of Kenpo. Maybe. Everyone's saying Blind Fury. Uh, I forget Fury. what that one's called. Yeah, that's Blind Fury, the one I was Although one was person blind said Fury, Blind Rucker Furry. <laughs> I think it's I'd blind watch that. Furry. Yeah, I'd watch Which Blind is, Furry. Okay, that's so- a very weird kink. I mean, I guess it's more of like <laughs> that's like it's how it feels, you know. It's like a sure, very sensory, you don't know who's in there. Sensory thing, you know. No. Yeah. So like, I when just this- don't like how skin feels. <laughs> hey, future reunion tour. What's up? When I uh, when perfect when the trailer for the perfect weapon started, my first thought was like. If I was watching a comedy kind of movie and one of the characters was like a, a cheesy movie star who's kind of coming down from his, the heights of his career and is, ends up kind of being portrayed as a doofus. And it, somewhere in the movie, they show a trailer for one of the films he's made in the movie. That's what the perfect weapon was. Like, that's what that trailer seemed like at first. You know, like a trailer you see in a movie for a movie within the movie, yeah. you know, because it was just so... It was, it's such you know what it is it's such a movie trailer do you know I, what i mean it, i wonder it's just how like, much the rights for the perfect weapon cost like do you want to be the next one like we should make a reboot of perfect weapon that's like exactly the same <laughs> yeah i love that i love when reboots are like shot for shot not just it's, like yeah right. another shot movie shot. that they rebrand you know G- Timmy Gus and I talked about Sam making psycho too. um you know, we talked about uh, uh, Timmy Williams in The Perfect Weapon. <laughs> He's a uh, Kenpo karate master. Mom, we're out of black licorice. <laughs> 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 oh. The more perfect weapon. <laughs> Perfectest weapon. <laughs> the perfecter um, weapon. There so, go. what would you give that for points, guys? I'm, uh, I'm going too. That's I'm a pretty entertaining to, uh, goddamn yeah. trailer. And, and just for me, being a movie nerd, like the amount, to, like they just show Jeff Beep and kicking ass for like a minute and a half. And then in the last 30 seconds, they're like, oh, by the way, here's every actor you like from 80s movies, Timmy. Like 14 of them shown in fast rapidity, you know, just like boom, 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 boom. Anyways, uh, yeah, two I, points. I check it with three points. I'm giving it one point just because I, I need some kind of baseline somewhere. And it's like, did I like that better than Ninja Commandments? No. Well, it doesn't matter. It's still getting eight points, Nate. Who submitted it? Uh, and that is from Mycotron. Hey, oh, Mycotron. I think that's a new a new submitter, right? Possibly. All right, you ready for my commission? Hell yeah, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me on, boyos. Hey, happy birthday. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Ready. Thanks, baby. Yeah. 
Um, this is not English, by the way. Wait, what? Why? It's not what? Why? It's in an alien language? It's a lot of squiggly lines. I don't really know. Why? I can't hear you over the fucking music. What'd you say, it? Nate? It's not in English. Oh. Why would a movie not be in English? Oh, it's another long trailer. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck yes. Is that, uh... I could tell that's Jet or Gordon. Jet Lee, yeah, it looked kind of like Jet Lee for a second. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Jet Lee, right? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. This is crazy. Uh, this looks I like... want to see this already. This looks so much older. <laughs> It looks like they're trying to make a 70s Shaw Brothers movie in the 90s. Yeah. Because it's the same costumes and sets, basically. Like, I'm Googling this right now. I want to see this shit. I, I don't think I heard of this. Wow. <laughs> you see the makeup line around uh -oh. his... Uh-oh. Yes, yeah, scalp. Yep. Oh, boy. Think of baseball, think of baseball, think of baseball. <laughs> yeah, the, oh, the he has a boner! Was, yeah. <laughs> Look at his the original boner. title. The original title of this was Kung Fu Cult Masters Try Not To Come. <laughs> I mean, didn't anyone tell them this English Whoa, language that thing is, fucking dope. is pretty yes. popular? It's here to stay. Wow. So. This movie really takes a... this trailer took a turn! Is that Michelle Yeoh? No. No, somebody else. Okay. Are those real horses? What? Well, they're showing too much. This is gnarly. Wow. Also, you know, this looks like uh, beautifully shot. I'm in. Huh. I'm in like Flynn. I just yeah, I like looked that. it up on Just Watch. Here's how you can watch this movie online. You can rent it on Apple TV for $4.99. Or you can buy it on Apple TV for $4.99. <laughs> Oh, Sam or, Hung was in there too. Great. I you could probably find a, uh, some guy reading the Wikipedia page on, on YouTube. <laughs> Does it have yeah. one of those? I don't know. Hey we, everybody, we, this is Scorpion Fire Tail. Thanks a that back was called the Kung Fu Cult Master. By Timmy, the way, yeah. we we uh, were looking up a movie and we were like, oh, this movie, this like really cheap Christian movie. I forget what what it was. It, it was like a really low budget movie. We were like, you can find it. On YouTube. See me dance. See me dance. Uh oh, see me dance. And we go to wow. YouTube and it's just a video of the Wikipedia and it's a guy going, See me dance. What? C M E D A N C E. And like slowly reading the entire Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, that's, that's great. Uh, that was that was really fun. That was yeah. I mean, like I said during it, I felt like they were showing too much, but it really got into a weird fantasy kind of uh, feeling at the end. And I felt like I watched something, not just an advertisement. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. was there was a lot going on there, and I enjoyed it. And that's one I'm gonna put on a list to try and watch sometime because it looks like it's fucking fun. So you know, um, I give it two. 
maybe I'm being too nice tonight. I'm giving a lot of twos, but this is this is the my this is one of my things, you know. So I liked it. I, I would give it a two. Yeah. Nate, please explain why we're only giving it a one. They gave it three. Still there? Okay. Is Nate still there? Where'd he go? He, he got up. I think he had to. to oh. poo. Well, when he, it's my turn, I'm going to show another one of mine and then and, another chat one. And he or another was grabbing us. his wiener when he got up. He's, so he had to poop so bad it was coming out of his dick? Yeah, I think so. Oh, man. I hate it when that happens. This reminds me of a. a Hello. Hey, what's what up, man? What do you man? give that one, Nate? I. I think you're going to give that two points. Sick. It was pretty epic. Like, the, it yeah. was grand, you know? Uh-huh. Um, I like that. Um, that was that was full po- all the points for uh, who who submitted that one? Let me look it up real quick. Nope, not all that. That was called Kung Fu Cult Master, and that got how many points? Eight, eight as many as as many as it can get. Schwingles. Oh hell yeah! Uh, Schwingles. Can I change my? Can I change my amount? <laughs> Do you not like that person? Schwingles? Sam and Schwingles are fighting. Schwingles oh. is a piece of shit. Oh. Schwingles <laughs> is a bad person. <laughs> uh, no, it, it's okay. Schwingles, Sh- it Schwingles, was just Schwingles last stream, Schwingles said Sam. a bunch of racist stuff. <laughs> Whoa, not cool, yeah, Schwingles. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, I need to pull up a notepad to put some of these movies on. Uh, Timmy, uh, uh, I'm writing a note to myself. Timmy, check this shit out, shithead. Uh, uh, b- 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 perfect Weapon. And that one was called what, Nathaniel? Kung Fu Cult Master. Yeah, well, like I said, I looked it up on Just Watch, and uh, which, if you don't know what that is, it's a search engine that searches uh, not all, but most uh, streaming services, and you can also like get sign up and have a profile and click, you know, tell them which ones you have, and then they you can look every day and see what's newly been uploaded uploaded to the streaming services you found. That's cool. It's pretty dope. Uh, Yeah, so I'm gonna write that down. So I'm gonna show one that I. uh, picked out and then i'll show another submission i'm just going to do that for my uh, turns yeah hey it's your birthday so fucking you know cool and i feel like i'm gonna get us a, a movie star we haven't seen a movie star in it. oh no i put one with a movie star in last time no this one's like a movie star though this one okay anyways i'm talking too much kung fu cult masters okay all right okay so here's my trailer so uh chat you're not voting on this one but you'll vote on the next one that i show here we go turn to left turn to right now please face the mirror. Fight! <laughs> you have a contender. How would you like to test how good you are, Tiger? Or could become? No referees. No rules. Pure fighting. I can't fight Tai Chi for mine. It's disarmable. Wait, Tai Chi is a fighting style? Hell yeah, it is. It's a martial art. Is this the stuff people do in like the park? No, well, that's what it is. But this movie, that's that's one reason this movie is cool is because it's about how you're not supposed to fight with it. And you can, well, you can, but you're not supposed to fight for money with it, especially. That's what I want. He likes it. It's like kind of a really good, like, uh, moral journey for this guy. Tai Chi is yoga for spicy moms, Abby Sally says. No, okay. Tai Chi's like a real timey martial art. Finish it. 
I mean, Yoga is kind of too. I didn't come here to kill. You owe me a life. Yeah, and then yeah. That was uh, right to my counter is cool. That was a question I used to ask people: was uh, Would you rather have a year's worth of Tai Chi or a year's worth of Chai Tea? <laughs> It's a good question, right? Oh, yeah. Samuel, man of chai tea. <laughs> man, man of chai tea. tea. Not as not as fun. Not as fun. Um, I give uh, that two points. You don't have to, but thank you. Uh, I like that movie a lot, and uh, that's Keanu's directorial debut. And so the mm. guy in that, the main character, there, Tiger Chin, is a stunt man, and he. I believe I don't think he doubled for Keanu Reeves, but I, he did do a lot of training stuff with. He, he's heavily involved in the Matrix. Tiger Chen was, uh, so he he helped did a lot of the training and worked with uh, Yen Wuping and all that stuff. So, so Keanu loved him, and so eventually he was like, "Let's give you a movie about your because uh, you're into Tai Chi, so we'll do a Tai Chi movie." So the main story of that movie is this guy battling with like making money off Tai Chi is like dishonorable with the way he was brought up in the traditions of it, but also he needs to make money and it's, uh, it's cool. It's a good one. And I mean, like Red Bell, like Red Bell. Is that what that's about to see? I got to see Red Bell. You have to see Red Bell. I know. Bell. I will. Like I'll, 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 I'll put that on the list too. Um, I mean, the, I, um, I honestly don't know why no one from chat submitted Red Belt. Wink, wink. Well, what do you, what you're saying? Someone should, I don't know. There's a, you know, I there's some miss, there's some missing chunks though. Like uh, someone in here said, like, how come there's no Sonny Chiba? Like, I personally haven't seen any Sonny Chiba movies, but yeah, it's like, oh, nobody, because he was kind of a big, big deal for uh, martial arts for a while. But anyways, um, you know, but you're, you're never gonna hit all of it. There's a lot of these movies. You guys want to watch the next submitted one? Yeah, sure. this is a great one. Saw this in the theater. I think I've seen this. This looks familiar. Oh, yeah, you probably have. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. She's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't she like slap people with her sandal? Oh, this guy's hilarious. Fucking like Steven Shao. Those guys are cool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Kung Fu Hustle. It's a classic. Yeah, I like that movie. It's a Sony Pictures classic. Says it right there. You know, uh, it's not always easy to get humor to translate across different languages and stuff, but Stephen Chow, I feel like, has a fucking handle on it. You know? He's, His movies he's are funny. He's done some other funny movies, right? Shaolin could, Soccer. Shaolin Soccer. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shaolin I Soccer. A, I mean, his his whole thing is like he, he does these like kind of kung fu movies with like a a, a, a dash of uh, Bugs Bunny. Yeah, they're like Looney Tunes. And he's got one about stand-up comedy, an older one. Uh, but I think that also combines kung fu with stand-up comedy. And then he's got one called King of Cooking, which does that. And then later he's gotten bigger. He made that movie The Mermaid, which is supposed to be like crazy. And he made like a kid's movie about aliens. Yeah, he's he's cool, man. He's what was the kid's movie about aliens called? C CJ7. 
I think maybe that's one. There was something I saw that like of his that came after this that I don't think as many people saw, and I was like, "This is a great movie." What was? It might be CJ Seven. Something that he made. Yeah. Yeah, he he's cool. Um, and obviously, I mean that trailer. I mean, I remember seeing that trailer, and I'm like, I have to go see that movie. I'll say you this. <sighs> Let me put the poll up right now. Sorry, guys, forgot about that. Um, I like that movie. I like the trailer. Yeah. But. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's a comedy. Yeah, you know, I I played it in there because that's a bit, but it's because uh, it's in the list and I like it. But yeah, I was thinking watching. I'm like, you know, I think it's not exactly a martial arts movie. However, I mean, I would say it's a martial arts movie, but the vibe I'm giving points out to, I'm looking for more like fighting. Guys, it's got kung fu in the title. <laughs> it's technically well, in, in the story. Of the movie is, I mean, about mastering that but i mean you can't really that doesn't really come into play here when we're voting on the trailer so you know i mean i think it's a, you're i no, think you're I, being I would a say yes it's a kung fu movie. movie it is a no, martial no, arts but comedy. Trying to say it points like it's good i'm giving it a point but the only reason i'm not giving it two points is because what i'm really looking for what i'm really like giving points in is going to be something more you know like there's sandering and then there's whatever nate pandering is and that is like you know, I like these shlo- like uh, like Kung Ninja Commandments is still the one in my head that I'm like, man, the movie was dope. I didn't and- see that. Did it have good fighting in it? No. Okay, so what the fuck are you talking about? If you if you if your if your first priority on martial arts trailer night is not looking for good fights, then what, what are we doing here? I'm not looking for good fights. I'm looking. Then for why good are you trailer. here? You know, I'm it's for a good like trailer, this, bro. I know you're looking for a good trailer, oh, but I, I mean, this is Timmy what makes show a good? Now. No, I'm, but I'm saying like, what makes a good martial arts trailer? Like looking goofy, it's or do you want to see good? It's shit? not a martial. It doesn't have to be a good martial arts trailer. It's a good trailer with the theme of martial arts. Okay. And and. But so um, well, then Kung Fu Hustle is too. I mean, by that, by what you just said, it's a good trailer with a theme of martial arts. I mean, I sure. I, I think I think. Voting against this movie because it doesn't feel like it fits the theme of martial arts is no, insane. no, no. That's all I said. It's just right. I, I, no, it definitely fits the theme of martial arts. I'm giving it a point. I'm not giving it two points because what I'm looking for, like what I'm being like, this okay. is what I, I want. Yeah, it's it's not going to be a comedy. All right. Okay. So I'm uh, not voting against it because I, I don't think it's a martial arts points. movie. I that gave it ninety percent. I gave it thing. three points. I would give it two points, and I I just I, I'm giving a very specific point off here, and that is because get that ass to me. That part was so funny. <laughs> That's some ugly ass font. You know what? That, that I don't is think... some like like the title design right there is fucking cheap. But let's yeah. talk about who's probably at fault there because that's an American cut trailer, most likely got the fucking American song in it and all that stuff, or the English language song. And um, this is this is that whoever did the titles, that's probably like Weinstein Company or Miramax or whatever. Yeah. Whoever you know, the mid two thousands, they're buying tons of those cutting some shit out and then putting them up over here and so i don't know if you you know you vote however you want uh that's not the fault of the people that, that probably assembled the rest of the trailer you know what i mean yeah i mean your heart, maybe Sam. i am being unfair <laughs> maybe i'm being unfair but, but you're right it's Steven ugly as Chow. <laughs> it's so I, I it's don't so want him ugly, to get though. upset that we're not giving him <laughs> I, I, called him. Magazine. I called him that's funny <laughs> Knock Knock says Kung Fu Hustle Magazine and you're like, yeah, that is kind of the Hustle Magazine font there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lid- Slitty Twitch nailed it. They said Nate wants to laugh at the trailer, not with the trailer. Yeah, Nate wants to be mean. <laughs> <laughs> these uh, poor people so, yeah, trying I to get, make these movies. I'm just I get it one point just because that, that I, I thought it was great. That font really killed it for me. 
I'm giving who, it two stars because it's got a lot of good shit in that in that trailer, and it's Timmy. It's it, it's it, what who huh? submitted it? Oh, sorry. Oh, that was Schwingles. Schwingles, mm-hmm. son of a bitch. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> How many points are you giving him? Uh, none. I take I take my <laughs> point away. No, I think that gets seven points. Two th- from me. Three from chat. One one. Mm-hmm. All right. Did you add them to me, or do you need us to do it? I can do it. I just go in and type the number, right? No, it's a drop down. You can just click the thing oh. and pick the number. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. Wow. One of the options is negative one. Have you ever gotten one? The, the negative one? Negative one is when we get a TOS trailer. Like somebody, we always say watch uh, the trailers because if somebody submits something and it has like TOS in it, we're like, oh, negative point. Yeah. There was one that I was going to put in and I watched it. I'm like, oh, they put a lot of the, the movie itself had a lot of titties and they put a lot of the titties in the trailer. Oh, Sorry, I didn't see it. Back on the promotion. We're not selling tickets. Ricky J. Oh, there we go. Did someone submit this or Sam's just watched it? I think it's going to be a Someone's great fight. Me. I don't know why everybody's not coming to this fight. Pay-per-view is pulling back on the promotion. We're not selling tickets. We have Ricky J is such a good voice. Yeah. Need a gimmick. What good's a deal if nobody's making any money? Time up. Think he has a handicap? No. The other guy has a handicap if he cannot control himself. Breathe. You know the escape. Breathe. There's always an escape. Your check bounced. My check? The martial arts supply. I can't make the rent. You have no cash. There's one rule. Put the other guy down. Just calm down. I'm calm, man. I'm calm. You calm down. Just wanna have a drink. Why'd you come out alone? You looking for trouble? What happened? Bad boy jumped on a movie star. What about you? Nobody knows who I am. A man distracted is a man defeated. It's an invitation from Chef Frank. You train people to fight. I train people to prevail. Tell them your training method. The fighters before a fight. Three marbles. Each fighter has a two and three odds of choosing the white marble. White marble's a pass. What if he picks the black marble? Black marble's a handicap. Who imposes the terms of the battle will impose the terms of the peace. Each fighter will pick a marble. Should he pick a white marble, he'll be given a pass. You draw the black marble, you're either going to have one arm tied to your body or potentially both arms tied to your body. You stole my idea. You can't copyright an idea. He has a document of his training regime that he's used for many years. You want to make some money? Fight on the undercard. It's worth a quarter of a mil. Competition is weakening. What about the fighter's family? What do they eat? The fight is fixed. We pick who gets the white marble. Who gets the pass tonight? You. I'm ending the charade. Mr. Flair! I need to talk to you! You think you're going to the ring? You're going nowhere, Mike. You're going nowhere. There is no situation you could not escape. The fuck? Escape. That was the like entire movie. That was the whole fucking movie. Oh. Um, I mean, there there are certain parts that like, uh, you know, aren't in that. But like, I mean, I, think, I love. But that. I do think like not having seen the movie and watching that trailer, I wouldn't really realize that I saw the whole right. movie. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there are some interesting parts. Like that, I wouldn't like, know that until you guys said it. Well, I it's like seen it yet. it's it's. Like they set you up the story of what's going on. That's fine. That's great. But like the last like half hour of that movie is fucking amazing. Like the pacing is really good. It ends perfectly. Like it's yeah. you know it's one of those movies that gives you like chills. You know, um, it's got it, a really good uh, uh, like the the cross between like the the act of fighting with like the way it involves what's happening in the plot. Like, it's one of those movies where the fight really has, like, an emotional weight to it. Right. Oh, yeah. That's an important part of a lot of those is doing that, you know. And they did cut out all the parts of, like, Tim Allen being, like, after, you know, he would, like, have a line and then be like, <laughs> Yeah. Like, every line. It was well, as soon as you showed. started talking about Tim Allen, I was like, I hope this is an urge <laughs> joke. It would, it would, it, it, they showed so much, but they cut around all the urs. Yeah. Um, no, that that's a great movie. Uh, did somebody submit that or did you just choose it? Someone submitted it. I feel there's a better trailer too. Because someone did submit it. Yeah. 
There, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a trailer where the part the guy's like, I'm a cop, you know, because that is like a whole part of the setup that you know would be interesting in the trailer that you don't have to give the whole nut away, you know, like. Um, oh, did you see the name of the person that submitted that, Nate? No. Hmm. What? Sa- Sam rules. A N. What's A N mean? I don't know. It's it's it is a person anus. who's been in our community for quite some time. Sam rules anus. Yeah, you? No. <laughs> All right. Nate knows. Oh, someone <laughs> someone Timmy thinks that that's actually you. Yeah, so someone was, yeah. someone submitted Tom Yum Goon. That's cool. All right, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, do, chat. Do, do, I pay do, attention do, do, to who, do. who watches our shows. Are we voting? Do, 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 I didn't put the poll up. I thought you chose that, but that is the thing. I mean, no, that is someone submitted it. Um, I'll say this. I love that movie. I I just feel the trailer gives too much away. Yeah. I mean, as someone who hasn't seen the movie yet, I didn't know that until you guys said it. So it doesn't I thought ruin it was great. It drew. Well, I'm not yeah. saying it ruins the movie. I'm saying yeah. I didn't know that. I'm, yeah, I'm, and- I'm saying what I'm trying to say. I didn't know what it. Uh, uh, you know, I, I had no idea what what it was saying about the plot, but I know it was very gripping. It showed some cool fighting. Uh, again, showed a lot of great actors you want to see, and so yeah, it was definitely a good trailer. And, and it seems interesting. It's like a weird plot especially when you compare it to all these norm- more normal martial arts movie plots you know so it seemed very cool greasy digits thank you for the subscription hey. uh, and uh yeah i think i think it went a little too far but i also think like i was watching most of that and i was like this is actually like giving you a lot of like intriguing information sure yeah uh and for the record and this, I always suspected this. Sam rules and Sam Sam rule San. Uh, write it out phonetically, but uh, oh wow, chat hated that. Uh, but s- their name is also Sam. I always suspected that. Ah. my name's Sam too. Yeah, get that? Does anyone check at that? Hey, I'm Sam. My name's Sam too. No, all right, just me then. Uh, I I'll give it one point. I'll give it one point. Yeah, I'll give it two. I'll give it two. Yeah, yeah. That's, I liked it. So that's a four With- point trailer going to Sam Rules and I would say chat should watch that movie. It's a it's a solid it is movie. Cool. I know it's delayed. I know it's delayed, but nobody got it. Hey, my name's Sam. It's from um uh Death Stranding, the video game. Uh, uh, okay. Um, okay. Is it my turn? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It is my turn. Watching together. Wait, should we pause this? Because there's like a plane. All right. Yeah. I'll just mute myself. All right. Oh, hell yeah. I'll be right back. For the next two months, you're going to toughen your mind and your body. It's going to make your Olympic training look like finger painting. <laughs> Anyone who enters Tommy Style must play the game. If he wins, he's allowed Jesus. his life and one request. I want to see the movie where that guy's making that model. Reason, and that's <laughs> Why don't we send in the troops? Direct military action is our Acting. Style. Finesse. There is one chance for one man. Any questions? None. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> His name, Jonathan Cabot. What the fuck His are they doing with the title? World gymnastics champion. His assignment, a secret mission for the United States government. <laughs> His only weapon, himself. 
Uh, That's all he needs. What a disgusting kiss. <laughs> Combine the power of gymnastics with the explosive force of karate. Jim Kata. There are many sounds around us. Here, the only sound of axe are in the air. <laughs> when gymnastics and karate are fused, the combustion becomes an explosion, and a new kind of martial arts superhero is born. Yes, that gymnastics. Yes, that karate. <laughs> Look at that thing! Did we mention? Oh, that's hilarious that they just sound like a... Yeah, dude. Stone that looks like a... This movie is full oh of God. that sort of business. Oh Jim Kata. Jim Kata. I mean, first of all, kudos for getting the trailer voice in your trailer. Very impressive. So, before we say who submitted this, mm. I will have to say there is a challenge. Oh. So, here's the question. And I feel we shouldn't... Uh, people in chat know who the challenge is for. I, I feel like we shouldn't say who the, the original trailer is from because I, we don't want people to vote for the merit of the trailer, not vote for the people right. submitting. Um, now, do we do we vote on points for this one and then watch the other one? I forget how to do it. And then vote who wins? Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah, I think okay. so. Um, I... That was pretty ridiculous to me. Yeah. So I think I like I again like I feel the trailer was lacking, but it was ridiculous. It was long in the beginning. Like it was slow to start, but once it kicked off, um, I I was in. Um, so I'm interested in seeing a challenge because I, I would love to see a better paced trailer. Yeah. Um, so the the poll is up now. So remember, we we are going to watch another one. So. Um, you know, you want to vote with the polls. So for that, as being as ridiculous as it is and just farcical, I think I have to give that two points. Yeah, I agree. Um, I didn't think they were doing enough gymnastic stuff at the beginning, but then I've, I've, I've said, like, I'm familiar with the movie, but uh, I was glad that at the trailer, I was like, oh man, they're not showing enough weird gymnastic stuff. And then they got to the end and they showed uh, the part where he conveniently finds the vertical poles. Then they showed the part where he finds something in the town square that's shaped like a pommel horse. So yeah. I'm and glad did they you, did that. So two points. You notice that I, I the love this movie. they were building had like gymnastics equipment. Yeah, on the dude, model. it was fucking insane. It was totally insane. So uh, Master Contusion subscribed. Thanks, Pre Master and... Contusion. What, Sam? I said, so here's where the uneven bars are. Yeah, there's uneven bars. The... He does find rings in the movie. Um, there, it, it's got a great random death in it uh, that's not in the trailer, but they're walking. He's walking through a mark. Go ahead. Away, Stark Away says, the town was named Jimboree. <laughs> His name was Tim Cotta. Tim Cotta. <laughs> He's walking through a market with a guy at one point, and they're talking, and the guy's like, well, I think that's a good... Oh! Like, right in the middle of his sentence, he gets, like, an arrow in the chest. I, so. I also like like that in the trailer, they're like, his mission, a secret mission for the government. And it's, it's like, it's not a description of a mission or yeah, his assignment. Yeah, it just says it's secret. A secret mission for the American government. It's like, what? And while like, Kurt, Kurt Thomas really was flying off the screen with his charisma, why didn't you send the army? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I agree. The trailer is two points i mean it, it makes you want to yeah. be like what the fuck is this you know so i'll give two points that yeah i can't wait to see the next one yeah hold on one second we find it real quick um jim kata so so chuck gave it two points it, the three of us gave it two points jim kata yeah. yeah okay two four six seven eight that's a full point trailer all right so there's a lot of points on the board let me see um, okay, so here's the challenger, and the challenger is Panwall, which this is a steep challenge because Panwall is our season one champion. 
Ooh. And so Penwall knows the shit. And um, let's see. We'll, we'll just get into it. Ooh, it's about half as Oh, no! Oh, what the fuck? Wow. <clears throat> Do I need, need to hit install extension? No. No, I don't I don't know why it does this. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh, all right, I, I'm just going to have to do screen share. You guys are going to have to watch it. On, uh, what number is it? Um, it is. Or, oh, I can do it since we're in Zoom. I'll, I'll just use that. Earlier, uh, eleven eighty eight. Sorry, guys, to slow things down for this, but uh, it should be fine. Uh, reload. Does reloading work? Try reloading it, Sam. Wait, no, I, I, oh. I got it. Hold on. Let's see. Give me a second to. Oh, wait. Are you sending a uh, Discord message, Van Wall? Then if I just do this. Um... Zoom. Zoom meeting. Share screen. Share this. Share sound. And oh no. Um one second. Uh Wait, here. I got it. Sorry. Uh. Chaos Theory says stop the steal. Uh. <laughs> All right. Here we go. His name, Kurt Thomas. His title, three-time world gymnastics champion. His assignment, a secret mission for the United States government. His only weapon, himself. And that's all he needs. Combine the discipline, the timing, and the power of gymnastics with the explosive force of karate. And a new, all-powerful martial art is born. Jim Kata. Kurt Thomas becomes Jonathan Cabot. <laughs> he must penetrate a mountain fortress to compete in an ancient savage ritual. Evo. They call it the <sighs> game. But nobody wins. And nobody lives. Until now. When gymnastics and karate are fused, the combustion becomes an explosion. And a new kind of martial arts superhero is born. Jim Kata. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Erno so, Tally, yeah, you heard that right. Nobody lives till now. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me ask you this. Um, maybe I missed it in the first trailer, but did they explain the whole story about there being a game? Was in, that the in the first trailer? trailer? Yeah. I don't think so. See, here's my thing is watching it, I was like, eh, this, all this stuff was in the first trailer. So... I don't think it's a superior trailer. But then when he started talking, that whole like 30 second part about, uh, you know, no one lives until now and the whole thing it being like a game, I'm like, oh, 
this is now more interesting to me. So for that point alone, I think I like the, the challenger. I do. I do like that. It also said like, no one wins. And then I, I swear it was like, uh, it, yeah, it is faster. Panwall. You're right. But, uh, I like that. It said no one wins. And then I thought it was also going to say, and no one loses. <laughs> <laughs> there are uh, no winners. No loses. It it's not really a game as much as it's just a party. <laughs> the game is not explained at all. Timmy, you're muted. Yeah, I've been muted. Okay. The uh, yeah, I think it's a better trailer than the last one, and there is stuff in it that was in the first in the other one. Yeah, uh, when he's walking up the stairs on his hands, that wasn't in the other one. The narration at the starting, it talking about the combination of gymnastics was a little different than the first in the first one and it's a shorter trailer and the guy with the face on the back of his head was not in the first yeah, one that, and that was, that's cool. an important that's an important ad that's that's important. right when that face thing was, i was like what and that's when he went yeah. right into the thing about oh the so game. you guys didn't hear me when i was trying to tell you yes they did explain the game in the first trailer but it was long a longer and weirder explanation and didn't really kind of uh break through that well but uh, that one was a little shorter and more succinct the whole trailer was shorter and more succinct, but so was the explanation of the game. And like him climbing on the ropes, yeah, it's a better trailer. They showed more action. And uh, when he's, Kurt Thomas becomes whatever the fucking character's name was. And it's like, yeah, we, that's what he's supposed to do. He's in a, he's acting in a movie. Was the model in the first one, in the second trailer? The first, you no, know, it was not in the second trailer. I didn't see, see it. That's another point for the first trailer. Is that yeah, the, the model's model. really funny. It's really weird. Just having the model in it is very strange. It just looks bad. And it's like, what is this? You know? Hmm. I don't know. It's a tough one. I give it one at least. But I kind of, in oh, a lot of choose. ways, I think it's a better constructed trailer, though. No, so. no, no. It, it's it's not. Oh, <laughs> chat voted. What do they say? They said Challenger trailer. Ooh. The challenge oh, that's, wins. It weren't, yeah, well, this oh, one weren't voting okay. on it. This was got it. Just so, a challenge. It's a full point trailer. Um, uh, all right. So we'll say this: the original trailer, the person who loses the points because they lost the challenge, or they uh, is um, away. Stork away doesn't get the points because you get challenged. Oh. But Panwall also is kind of, uh, he, he's already an official trailer boy because he won. So he said, give my points to anyone that submitted the same way. Because that did get submitted a bunch. So, Twist, do you know who submitted the same link? Who? Sam Rules, and <laughs> Oh. Wow. Interesting. So, see how the trickle-down works. It's kind of crazy. Okay. Uh, guys, I think we have to do one more trailer piece. One more each? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to do my double down, though, because I'm going to... I, I want to show one that someone... It's not... This one's not for competition either, but I didn't, I didn't quite pick it out. Am I good to go? Uh, yeah. Is Watch Together back on? Yeah. All right, let me preamble this one a little bit. Um, the reason I... Uh, there's this writer I like online who... Outlaw Vern. Uh, he's a fucking action movie expert. Uh, like, he's written... He wrote a book on Steven Seagal movies. Like, extremely studious, detailed book on Steven Seagal movies. And he's also done the same kind of thing for Bruce Willis. And uh, so he, just by reading his stuff, because he's funny and he's very cool, uh, I've got, that's how I've learned about so many action movies. And so I talked to him, I'm like, what's one do you think people aren't going to like? And he was like, he said, well, Tai Chi, man, but everybody knows that. I'm like, well, everybody like us knows that. So I did Man of Tai Chi, but I'm like, you know, uh, there's a lot of people who, who would probably like your stuff that, and, uh, you know, uh, maybe like to read your stuff or something. I'll tell them about you and what's something you don't think they've seen. So this is one that i haven't seen this movie yet but i've seen this guy's other movies so uh um this is from outlaw Burner. if you like me and you like movies definitely check out his website outlawvern.com so here's this one it's a funny trailer 
Oh, that volume is low. Yeah, it is. Can you crank it? Do we need to start over? Papa, aquí mi amigo dice que se la puede contra todos tus alumnos juntos. Is he goth? I think so. So this is Holy Mountain? <laughs> <laughs> right? Have you not seen this one, Timmy? I've not seen this uh, trailer or this film, um, but... Uh... This filmmaking team, I've seen some of their other stuff, other stuff, and they're great. Uh, this is a yes. No, this looks cool as shit. Yeah, Marco Zorro, man, he's great. It's, it's Spanish. Which it's is Chilean, a, yeah. Well, actually, Chilean. that that he's he's Chilean. That production is like Spanish, Italian, and Korean. It's something crazy. Anyways, that's cool um, as shit. Yeah, uh, I've seen a movie of his, his more recent one, Redeemer, where he plays this like kind of uh, a suicidal vigilante kind of thing. It's awesome. But Marco Zarrar is really tall and kind of uh, has a very weird charisma. And uh, yeah, he looks great fighting like his kicks because it looks like he's like got an eight foot long leg. But uh, yeah, he and his buddy, uh, the, the guy that writes and directs all those with him is his buddy. But anyways, uh yeah, man, those are cool. And like, it just looks like a very different kind of martial arts movie. It's Spanish. Sam's Parker is Harley. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, anyways, yeah, very, very cool looking movie. And not a lot of martial arts in the movie. What they showed looked good, you know? And also there's a lot of story to it, which would normally be like, well, I didn't want to see as much story, but like, it's such a, an, another one with a very different kind of kung fu movie story, you know. So it's like it, I like it. Like I like it. I thought that was cool. Shit. Fall in love, yeah. All right, I got to pick one for from the submissions. Let's see here. I should have picked one earlier. I didn't. Um, okay, we did that one. We did that one. We did that one. Um. There's one I saw that I was like, oh, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay, cool. I mentioned this one last night. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Black magic in the greatest battle of all time. As the seven brothers and their one sister meet Dracula. <laughs> seven siblings. Or eight siblings. Six siblings. <laughs> Another way to say that. <laughs> Oh, I, was there? There might have been. Okay. The blood of the virgins and turn them into zombies. Oh, oh, ah. um. You haven't seen Kung Fu until you've seen the seven brothers and their one sister in action against Dracula. Why is he saying that?
Oh, yes. This is so fucking awesome. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. And <laughs> you got a little cocky kung fu move like that. Yeah, just cleaning your hands off. Yeah, like, fuck you, you dirty asshole, you're dead. Yeah! Oh! Holy shit! Oh, nice! Oh no! You lost it! Yes! Peter Cushing? Fuck yeah, dude, he plays Van Helsing in all these. He was the Dalek. Yeah. See the 10,000 year old monster disintegrate before your eyes as the seven brothers and their one sister meet Dracula. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> they don't stop saying it. This All right. Is, yeah, I've never is... heard the narrator of a trailer spoil it. I mean, obviously, Dracula's going to get his ass kicked. Watch Dracula get killed is basically what he just said. Yeah. He's like, watch the monster disintegrate. Okay. Holy so, shit. The Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. So I have that, that one. I bought it. I bought it just sick. based the on. One sister doesn't get to be in the title. Yeah, yeah. It's so weird. I bought it and didn't watch it yet, but I'm like. It, What's I bought it called it just, again? The, the Legend the of the Seven Golden Vampires. It's got two titles. Let me grab it because you can flip it over yeah. the the title card and it has both. Let me see. Anyways, I bought it because I because of what it's about. I just haven't got a chance to watch it. I got it cheap somewhere. But um, yeah, that's a great trailer too. I mean, it's uh, got blood and monsters and then a bunch of awesome martial arts and then Peter Cushing. It's like okay, I did. It's so sick. It's so sick. Like, holy, yeah, it's seven. That's the funny thing. Is she not a golden vampire then? Seven brothers and their one sister. Guys, okay. I have the old school cover out first on this. And so it's called the seven, uh, seven brothers meet Dracula, right? Okay. But check this out. It's on here. It says seven. You haven't seen Kung Fu. So it's literally on there, but it's still called the seven brothers meet Dracula. Dude. And then the is... other title is uh, the legend of the seven golden vampires. That's a kick ass. I bet uh, this has uh, amazing posters. Art. Like this is a poster. Yeah, well, look at, look at yeah. both of these. I mean, Wait, that's put it over your face. Kick- we can't see it. Okay. That's a kick ass poster. Yeah. And that is a kick ass poster. You yeah. know, so Dude. I love that. It's classic Dracula. Yeah, so what the deal yeah. is there, uh, so Hammer Horror Studios from Britain uh, was making tons of Dracula movies. Christopher uh, Christopher Lee played Dracula for a while. He's not in this one. I believe it's, uh, I don't know who plays Dracula in that one. Oh, John, F- uh, I don't know who that is. Anyways, uh, but uh, Peter Cushing played Van Helsing all the time. And so, you know, this is getting towards the end of Hammer's, like, ruling of horror. And at the same time, Shaw Brothers were making a bunch of kung fu movies, and they were like, let's get together and make a kung fu horror movie i just think that this is possibly like this movie is like i'm just so happy it exists yeah it's so crazy and we've watched like some weird like uh lucha versus satan ones but like this is crazy to me right it's like why are you guys doing this what are we holding What's happening? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't size it up. Uh, um, oh, I'm not looking at the stream. Are you yeah, doing something in the stream? Okay. Pretty yeah. much. Uh, like, real quick, I wanted to say that uh, it's funny. Uh, don't worry, me. Don't worry huh? to me. Don't worry to me. What? Don't worry to me. There we go. I don't know what's happening right now. Watch the stream. Do you, are you watch okay. the stream? No, I'm not. I had when, too many things happening. On. Okay. Oh, come on, you stupid motherfucker. Don't go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay. It was trying to, like, load up Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay, what's going on the stream? Okay, so your fists are together. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> awesome. Uh, cool. Yeah, uh, that was that was that gets an extra point. That was, you know, I was thinking like it's pretty late in the night, you know, like we're doing final trailers, and I was like, wow, we really didn't have any trailer. I'd be like, this is a bonus point trailer. Oh, like, that's a bonus so, point is what you're doing. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's great. Um, Kung Fu movies love numbers. So there's the Seven Brothers, Edward Sister, Meet Dracula. Wait, says it's a TOS trailer. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Did you guys not catch The problem that? is... I didn't know that. I didn't up, pay... I, that, someone else <laughs> submitted that. I didn't know it was going to be that, but don't, it was pretty dark. Focus on it. We're moving on. Yeah, it was pretty dark. I didn't anyways, see it. Anyways, it the, Kung Fu movies love numbers. You got seven, seven Brothers Me Dracula. The 36 Chamber Shaolin is a famous one. The Wu-Tang Brothers love that. The Wu-Tang Brothers. Shaw Brothers. Wu-Tang Clan loves 36 Chamber. Uh, there's one that I want to show the trailer for, but there was it was really long. It's like four minutes, but it's got such a good name. It's a classic Kung Fu movie, Eight Diagram Pole Fighter. But it's a fucking awesome Kung Fu movie. One of the best. I I don't see these boobs. What? I don't know. I don't see them. Well, uh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, no. Why yeah, are we I watching just, it again? I just saw them. They're far away. Oh, whoa, yeah, that is pretty big time. I don't what know, guys. Happened? I don't know, guys. You think we got to give it a negative one? That, I mean, I don't want to to tell people it's okay. Right. Yeah, you got to watch stuff first. And again, I picked it, uh, I didn't know it wasn't, uh, you know... And well, what's it was the submitted. first rule of Trailer Boys? Don't show boobies. Um, we, yeah, I was we, trying to just ignore it and be like, if nobody notices, we, we know, we, you know, we'll get through. You know, like, uh, we'll just, nobody will notice. We'll that was through, so from Grimward. Grimward <clears throat> lost nine points. Oh, wow. Because, Dang. I mean, like, saying you lost nine points because you only lost one point. But you all, it would have been an eight point trailer. That was right. Rule number one of trailer boys <clears throat> watch your fucking trailer. Yeah, watch, watch it. Watch your own Make trailer. Sure it doesn't get anybody in trouble. Uh, hey, I didn't, uh, I, I'm just, I'm just, you know. I had no idea that would be a kind of trailer that would even have that in it. So, yeah. Color me surprised. Uh, you know why I didn't see him is is because I'm watching the trailers on the OBS screen, so it's like this big on my screen. Oh right yeah, there. that's the thing is like it was low res enough. And we've had like some weird like artsy like background boobs that I feel like if we weren't paying attention and nobody pointed it out, we just went through it. It would be fine. Mm. Yeah, I th that was foreground boobs though. Okay. Grimward says I self censored the trailer by squinting. Uh, <laughs> that's so funny well that sucks because that was a good one um all right sam i think you're next uh okay i gotta go pretty quick here sam well, you do one then i gotta bounce it's live late the tonight. last trailer timmy come on oh, we're okay. almost done with the show all right yeah. i'm just tired yeah, like timmy if you're tired don't show two trailers <laughs> it's my fucking birthday sam it's his birthday yeah it's our show <laughs> But I can leave early if I want to. Oh, you gotta wait for a trailer of the week. Yeah, See, but I mean, okay. you're, but your version of leaving early is is like leaving right before. Uh, Sing about Nate shows today. his last trailer. Okay, I know, but All it's right, just on, that it's on. not gonna be quick. Okay. Oh. <laughs> A new warrior to face her destiny, and there's only one place they'll find the chosen one. The mall. Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> awesome. Meet Lady <laughs> Woo. What? She's pretty. She's popular. And everyone's gonna vote for you for homecoming queen. But first, she's got a date with destiny. You must follow in the steps of your ancestors. It is your turn to defeat Yang Lo. You know, Yoda, this is already getting a little too Star Wars-y for me. And 
This pampered princess Ow. transform herself into a kung fu queen? This could be fun. It's time to show the world what the world can do. <laughs> this has some real no, brass energy. Check out all the I was just going to say that. Really pack a punch. Is this in the brass never expanded the universe? Ending, a behind the scenes featurette and more. The sweet life of Zack and Cody's friend is song is brand new Homecoming Warrior. Now available on Disney DVD. That's awesome. Wow. What kind of energy oh, did you say, oh. Sam? What? Fuck. I, 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 uh, fucking, I brain scanned it. Oh, brain scanned. What'd you do? Oh, no. brain scanned it. All right. What does that mean? It's a minute long, so we gotta watch this one. Um, it means that he forgot to switch the seats. Oh. 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 Now, it's time for a new warrior to face her destiny, and there's only one place they'll this find This is good for serious brass energy. It's good. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Meet Wendy Wu. What? She's pretty. She's Here's the thing. And everyone's gonna vote for I know it's a Disney movie, queen. but first, she's but got a date with Disney. Based on like when it came out, right? I, I, I can only assume there's some problematic stuff in there. This is already getting a little too Star Wars-y for me. Can this pampered princess transform herself into a kung fu queen? This could be fun. It's time to show the world what the world can do. <laughs> now it's my turn. And check out all the bonus features that really pack a punch, including a never-before-seen alternate ending, a behind-the-scenes featurette, and more. The sweet life of Zack and Cody's friend of song is Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior. Now available on Disney DVD. How funny is that? Like, my favorite thing about this is that there is a never before seen alternate ending like <laughs> like there was like some point in making this movie that people were like yeah i don't know the ending's not really working uh it's not like what like <laughs> like i could tell you the ending right now she wins <laughs> like, <laughs> was there some the point where it's like ending. yeah she died and the audience wasn't really clicking with that and so uh, <laughs> yeah. we shot it a different way where she actually turns lived. out they That's don't want to see Wendy Wu homecoming warrior get decapitated at the <laughs> yeah. end uh, Disney Channel movies love incest I did not know that uh, oh Allegra says the spoiler but the rest of the characters thought Wendy and her beau were cousins but then at the end they're hinted to be romantic uh. <laughs> Erdo Tali says, Disney's so happy to make a lame Star Wars joke in any movie they make now. That movie's way before they bought Star Wars. Wendy Wu is like at least 10, 15 years ago, isn't it? It's a long time ago. Movies made 15 years ago, as Punch Walrus says. Yeah. Okay. Um, I liked that. I yeah, liked me that. too. It's a good trailer. I'm going yeah, to give totally. that a point. Um, yeah. Oh my God. Oh, chat split on it. Um, Sam's muted. Oh yeah, no, you're muted. I'm telling chat that you're muted. <laughs> um, <clears throat> she doesn't get Homecoming Queen, but she's like, wow, Homecoming that's Warrior. a fucking spoiler. So, Timmy, um, is your birthday four ten? Yes, my birthday's four ten. Yep. So, uh, that got fifty fifty, which ties wow, sure that like gets two points from chat. Um, I gets a point from me, Timmy. Sam, what do you guys give that? Two I mean, points. it's a good trailer. I give it two points. Yeah, why not? You know, it's 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 got. No, I kind of want to give it two points too. It's got good fighting in it. It's got fun. It's got it's got a lot of energy. I forget what I didn't understand what you guys said. Big something energy. I didn't quite hear that, but uh, it's got good. Brats there's a like Bratz the, movie. It, there's it, a Bratz it, movie. It really oh, okay. Good. Uh, and this had some the spirit of it. You know. So who submitted yeah. that one, Sam? Um, what was that called? Uh, Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior. Slim, uh, Slim Katie, right? That's what it says here. Who is someone else? I, I'm looking at Slim Katie. Okay, Slim Katie. Oh yeah, Slim. K yeah, Unless it showed up before that, but it doesn't look like it did. So because oh, yeah. it's I think not it's pink. Slime Katai. Hmm. So wait, that's two from all of us, so that's an eight-point trailer? I think so. Cool. Okay, and the last trailer of the night. Ha! 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 
I like the music. Is that Jackie Chan? Yep. Oh, 88 Asia. Great label. The Eagle Claw is dedicated to wiping out the whole snake fist style. It's one of his early guys. Hi, Jung King. Where is he? You will find him. I like that mustache. He attacked us and he's got a snake. <laughs> he's got a snake. He's got a snake. Oh, uh, are you all right? You'd like to learn Kung Fu? Oh, sure. Then I wouldn't be bullied. I like the music. Can't escape from me now. Oh, this is trailer for the Blu-ray. Stop fighting! The Lord Jesus says if you're struck on your right cheek, you offer your left. Ah! Jesus, he's a sinner! <laughs> snake ready to die. Get it! I should combine a cat's claw with snake fist. Whoa. <laughs> I love the blown out audio for some reason. Like it makes it feel more real. Yeah. Dude, this movie looks fucking great. Ooh! Right in the Jesus thing. Okay, perfect. Yes. Oh, he died. Oh my god! Oh, this one. That looks uh, like a cool poster too. Going on the list. Snake in the Eagle's Shadow. Yeah. That is nuts. Hold on. Snake. Um, the... Was that Jackie Chan's first movie? Uh, it's said the one that made him a star. He made he did, he made so many fucking movies before he became like Jackie Chan, you know? Like Wow. You know, before I mean uh Pulls up. Was it is it police story? Yeah. Before the police stories, like he, he had made so many other things. It's crazy. Um, yeah, it looks great. Uh, and I like, you know, it's fun in Kung Fu movies when they're doing other stuff besides fighting, like the, the parts where the guys were like putting their hands under the bowls and switching the, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the that they're really doing and it's impressive to watch. You know, it's cool. Yeah, that was, uh, a, that was a great trailer. The context says 1978, Wu Ping Yoon's directorial debut. Oh, wow. Jackie Chan kills a priest in spectacular fashion. Yes. The music in the trailer is from the movie. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm going to give that two points. I gave it two yeah, points, yeah, too. Points. That's and, and plus, was that the only Jackie Chan submission in it? No, there were more uh, Jackie Chan no, submissions. Sure, I don't know. That's probably the oh, only not one submission. The one, the, was that the only one you showed, though? I mean. Yeah. Yeah, that's like... Uh, that's a must see. Yeah, check if that ninety five percent yes. Yeah, it yeah. really was great. And yeah. that was, I'm giving that two points as well. Giving that two points to me. Yeah, two points. Yeah. Oh wow! So it gets full points. The full points, and that goes to Flanja. What? Right. So that means <laughs> we need to organize the tournament. Yeah. Fitting for martial arts trailer night. You need to have a tournament. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, Flanja just hit the cross the 100 point threshold, which ends the season, which we have to start the process of getting the invitational tournament together. So that means we're going to have to schedule. Oh. So. so next week. Is the beginning of season three. Okay. Should we do it that way? That's smart. Because then, like, we can take time off later. Because I, I don't... Yeah. Putting the... Putting the... Uh, oh, next week's Putting the tournament Easter. together. Okay. Yeah. I think we have to take a time... Uh, I think we have to take a knee next week anyway. But putting Putting the tournament together takes a little bit of time. Because we gotta we gotta figure out who we're inviting, put the seeds together, yeah. Write the tuxedos. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. But uh, right. uh, quick, let's vote for trailer of the week. Oh uh, boy, okay. Timmy, if you want to take off, you can take off. 
Oh, you're having chat vote? Or who votes? Yeah, chat votes. Oh, chat votes. And what do you do? Just put all the eight pointers on, or how do they decide? Yeah, we'll put all the eight pointers on. Uh, all right, Sam, tell me what we got. We got uh, Kung Fu Cult Master. Yeah, the Cult Master, I think is what it's supposed to say. Oh, oh, C-U-L-T. That, that was the one with Jet Li in it that like that oh, we okay. all really liked and got really uh, crazy. I was like, I don't remember this one. Cripple yeah, Master. it says Colt in it, too. I was like, what? There's a horse? Did we miss a horse kung fu movie? Uh, Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior. Uh, the Perfect Weapon. That was a kick-ass one. Jim Cotta. Yeah, that's it. Those are the only eight pointers. Yeah. All right. And I don't think we need to put Snake in the Eagle Shadow, in, do we? Oh, Crippled Masters, oh, Sam. That got eight points. Yeah, it's Crippled that Masters. Oh, you did? I missed you. Okay, sorry. So I got Kung Fu, Cult Master, Perfect Weapon, Wendy Wu, Jim Cotta, Crippled Masters. Oh, wait. Hold on. Grimward. When did you wait? Hold on, guys. I think Grimoire just saved his butt. Why? What happened? Because Grimoire says that they since. Let me see if this is correct. If Grimoire submitted the non TOS before the the trailer was shown. I think it's our bad, and we need to give Grimward those eight points. Oh. What if the non-TOS trailer sucks? Still. But well, where is it in here? Where do we... I don't see it. Okay. We're talking about that's for the, uh, the, the vampire one. Okay. So. I'm only seeing the one that I showed. Yeah, I am, I am too. Oh, he submitted and, after. He submitted after. Okay. Right, I was going to say, and also, if you had found it and submitted it, you should. You let's say this situation comes up again. I would suggest that you also, if you find out that the trailer you submitted was TOS, you submit the non-TOS one. Maybe put a note in the context of the previous one, like don't show this one, show the you know something. Or just good. message us directly, you know. Or just uh, let them yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, All right. I'm going to go. You guys. I'm passed out. Hi, Jimmy. You. You're looking mighty cute. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, Jimmy. No, I guess, actually, you know, not saying what? happy birthday. It's not your birthday. Well, it, it still is, is here. Yeah, Jimmy Town. And in your and in your town. Oh, yeah. It's not. Yeah. But I, no, I'm not saying happy birthday because it's not where Nate is. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Happy birthday. <laughs> there are rules in Goobywood. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really know what they are, but we make them up as we go along. <laughs> Well, I mean, Darren got my birthday done early. I mean, he was fucking, you know, he was way ahead of the game. Uh, Timmy, thank you very much for thank coming you. in on your birthday. Yeah, uh, no problem. And I, I wanted to because I like my birthday. I mean, I don't. That's fine. But I you, like kung fu movies, you know. You, yeah, you, br you brought like a level of legitimacy to the show <laughs> where you know what you're talking about. Yeah, I could, you know, we could do, I, someday I would like to do a, more of a, movie discussion show of some sort too hey, we keep talking about doing watch parties you know you can always get yeah, on that too yeah that's true we could do that anyways uh, i better go it's pretty late but uh, uh and i will uh chat in whore town and people are goobyville uh gooby wood gooby wood uh uh i will be definitely streaming this week i don't know if i'll be cooking or not but that's coming back at some point but uh definitely doing something bye bye we really should start doing a regular watch party night. You know, that'd be kind of funny. Get in uh, regular. I, I mean, um, I stream so much. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's I'm saying? Like, we could do it on some of the Wednesdays sometimes. Um, or, you know, Timmy could do it too, whatever. Um, I, yeah, people are asking what, what next week is. So if next week is Easter, are we doing a show or no? I'm down to still do a show. Okay. 
And then what do you want the theme to be for the start of season three? Somebody had thrown out movies that are the third of a series. I don't know if we've seen this, if we've done this yet, but have, have we done vampires? I don't think so. We have done yes. vampires, someone says. Oh. We have done vampires? Speed Punk 1996 says we've done vampires. Oh, well, here's the thing about vampires is like, we saw the vampire movie tonight and that was awesome. And then Jesus rising from the dead could be uh, maybe a zombie thing. Vampires? Vampires. No, is Jesus a vampire? Okay. I'd say let's do, let's do vampires. Okay. Because, yeah, Jesus was a vampire. On Easter. Yeah. Let's do vampires. There's there's a lot of good. All right, and the winner this week? Uh, what's Crippled Masters? What was... I didn't even actually... I wasn't even watching the poll. I want to see how close it got. Perfect Weapon oh, wow. was in second. Wow, okay. Perfect Weapon lost by two votes. All right, guys. So next week, vampires. And we'll... Uh, start organizing the season two. Yeah, Ninja Commandments, I thought, was possibly one of my favorites. The seven vampire golden thing, I think, was would have been a clear winner for me. Um, yeah. Ninja Commandments, I thought, was dope as shit, though. Uh, but I will say this. I don't want to tip the scales at all. I guess uh, um, you... Uh, we will take that trailer. The there's only one person that can submit that trailer next week for vampires. Yeah, Grimward. If you want to resubmit Grimward, that one, we'll, if wanna, yeah. yeah. If someone beats <laughs> Grimward to the non TOS version, uh, yeah. So Grimward, just make sure it's in there. Yeah, because I, I actually didn't see it when you said you already submitted it. Uh, but yeah, uh, how many can we submit? We like to keep it to three because, like, you know, we 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 don't really look at the names when we're picking the trailers, and you know, we've had issues where people submitted like thirty, and then we just keep accidentally picking the same people, and we're like, "Fuck, man!" So just for, in the sake of fairness, we like to keep it to like three, and it's uh, yeah, you know, and and write good context because I usually pick my trailers like the the title may stand out. But like when I'm reading the context, that's really what I'm looking for. Oh uh, yes. yeah, Forest of Wires is back on after Forest as long. Forest of Wires is back on, and we're gonna we're gonna rate Forest of Wires. Thanks so much for coming out. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Do, 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 do.